I was petrified Thinking I'll call you out by my side Spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong I grew stronger I learned how to get along Now your breath I'm out of sight Just walk in the fire you hear with the shade Look upon your face Change your stupid love Should have made you leave your key If I had no but just one second
bowling contest is a monster's ball match. Introducing first, from parts unknown, weighing in at 351 pounds, Roberto! And his opponent, from Sheffield, England, weighing in at 335 pounds, Moss Leinster!
Moslingster.
tick tock, tick tock. Oh, Tuppy, why are you so mad, man? The whole scenario had the Royal Rumble. Hey, I was only joking, you know? You no. Know. I mean, did you really think you had a chance of winning? I was trying to have some fun, you know? Crowd, get the applause going. Give the little time we had together. But you want to challenge me to a match of anniversary? Trying to cause a scene? Trying to get your tubby rage on? You want to throw down with the dummy? Well, I will enlighten your little request, you little boy. Your Kevin Owens ripoff. A anniversary tubby emu versus it's my yard. <laughs> it's gonna be fun.
following contest is an ECW Extreme Rule Match and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Here comes the gold standard. His opponent from Italy, weighing 245 pounds, he is the world heavyweight champion, the king. Holding the gold, Andy Badwolf coming in to defend what he believes is rightfully his. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. The FAM World Heavyweight Championship is for all the guts, all the glory, all the gold. About ready to get this match underway. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Fans are on their feet. Oh! That carried in with a quick... Each other so well, they complement each other's style, and they also know how each other plays. This is going to be one hell of a match, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be the pinnacle of the matches here at Fam Anniversary. Yeah, 
Karen back with the DDT. Again, Bulldog. Downs and that black Bulldog. Andy Babble. Coming back to the ropes. It's under. Power slam. Kick by Karen. He's setting him up for something here. Throwing the leg breaker. Spine buster by Black Heron. Reversal into the corner. And whoa! It's close line up. Men are going to go hard. They're going to go as hard as they possibly can. And he certainly doesn't want to lose that World Heavyweight Championship. Black Heron certainly wants it. And you have two men fighting for the same object, fighting for the same thing, fighting for all the cuts, all the glory. And the richest prize in the game, the FAM World Heavyweight title. You're going to see one hell of a contest between these two. Highly skilled and intensely aggressive warriors. And out to the outside here. And Bab will knock him down. What's going to be clothesline? Knocking him off here. Flying heel kick off the top rope. Back here and oh, miss Andy Bamble reversal. Andy Bamble in control. You can start to see his head's leaking a little bit there. And Black Heron's got a DDT. Moon salt. Through the ropes! Look at the two by four. Karen going to town on Andy Babel. As a nice little Kim Rana. He's setting up the table. He's got the table set up. Got a feeling someone's going to take a ride through it. He's going to go in the corner of those steps. It's already busted open. Be here. Checking him up. And he's set up and the black and gold power bomb. Table, Andy Babble in control here. Sets him up. Neck breaker. On that table. Set up. And pedigree through the table. One hell of an extreme rules match, folks. This is extreme rules, even for extreme rules. Oh, off of his head, he's got that steel step stuck on his head. A flying crossbody off the top. He's 
he's thinking about. Suicide dive to the outside. Through the table. McCarron. Coming off that corner. No! It's down. Beautiful move. And he's got the spear set up. And it's a spear! And it could be it. He could be looking to hit that. It is the black and gold gut wrench power bomb. Going down. One, two, and a kick out by Andy Bad Boy. Oh, into that chair in the corner. This could be it. One, two, no, two. At the count of two, Black Heron is kicked out. Setting up. Top rope Hurricane Rana. Into the corner. Bad will, oh, the shoulder thrust to the gut. Kick to the face! Picking him up. Go to sleep time, baby. Andy Badwell may have this match all wrapped up. It may be over. It could be over. But will it be over? Set up here. And it's the Bad Wolf Driver! Oh, Black Heron's back up after that bad wolf driver. Look at this! Off the top! What an amazing counter, ladies and gentlemen! You don't get this kind of action anywhere else! Low blow it. He's got it with a pedigree. Andy Bad will hit that low blow and then the pedigree. This is all over, folks. One, two, no! He kicked out! He kicked out! How in the hell do you kick out with a pedigree like that? And here he goes. He's getting locked in. One, two, no. It was not enough. And he is desperately trying to keep Black Heron down. Two, no, still not enough. Oh, and he's setting him up. Is another pedigree. No, reversal. And a T-bone suplex. him up. Looks like it's going to be a superplex. There it is. Superplex. Laying him out. Oh, and with a martial arts kick. Off the thing. Reverse DDT. And on the corner. Oh! Knocking him down off the apron with that kick to the face. And here it is. Oh, he's got the Anaconda Vice locked in. Will he tap out? Will he give up? Oh, knees to the head. All right, folks, I almost forgot. In an extreme rules match, the pin or submission has to be done in the ring. Apparently, uh, Andy forgot that as well. Setting him up. Here comes Pedigree. No, reversal. And black and gold gut wrench power bomb, ladies. One, two. Kick out at two. What one hell of a match we've got going here. Back and forth. The pain, the punishment, it never ends. The action never stops. These two want to win this match in the worst of ways. Not only is this a win at Famniversary, for an, it's for an undefeated Famniversary streak, but it's for the World Heavyweight Championship. You can't raise the stakes much higher than that. Looks like he's setting him up. What's it gonna be here? Going out to that ladder on the outside. 
think I can smell what he's cooking. And yes! Elbow drop off the ladder, into the ring, through the table. Let's see what's going to be one, two, no, still two. These guys will not stay down for anything. Reversal. In the back. Straight to the head. This. Oh, float over face breaker. Here comes that. He's got the belt. Trying the belt. Now he's got the crippler cross face. The crippler cross face. What will it be? Will he tap out? Will he tap out? Yes! Andy Bad Wolf has tapped out to the crippler cross face. Black Heron is your new FAM World Heavyweight Champion! The Hero! Ladies and gentlemen, we have saw one hell of a match tonight. Black Heron took everything that Andy Badwell dished out and rose to the occasion and became your new FAM World Heavyweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching FAM Famniversary. Wait a minute. What is this about? Wait, you, you, he can't quit. What the f***? You're the world heavyweight champion. You can't just quit. Wait, he's going to... It's J2F now. It's down here to ringside. And J2F is looking for answers here. He wants to know just as much as we do. Yeah, what are you talking about? Heron attacking J2F. What in the What in the hell?
fight for the day, night, black and white A victory dance of burning I am the best she claimed and more A battle scarf and keys to the door We will, we will, we will rise again This is a fight for our love, lust, hate, desire We are the children of the great empire
this is Ebenezer Milstorf, and coming up at Famiversary 3, I am going to add the Global Championship belt around my fat waist at the expense of you other assholes. Because beating the shit out of you in the six-man gauntlet match is going to be a piece of cake. And then when I'm done, I'm going to have a piece of cake. Nailed it. Becoming the global champion at Famiversary 3 is not just what's best for business, it's also what's beast for business. And then afterwards I'm gonna eat, which is what's feast for business. But remember one thing, at the Famiversary 3, I am gonna beat you bitch asses so bad, you'll regret ever creating a YouTube account. Yet you I'll fuck with Evan Easy, because beating up bitches like you is what I poo. Nailed it.
I had a chance at the Famniversary main event. At the Fam Royal Rumble, It's My Yard cost me that opportunity. Yard, let's be 100% clear. You and I, we've never liked each other. We've been two of the biggest fish in this YouTube game for a long time. Well, guess what? The one thing I could never do was beat you, and I didn't want to face you at Famniversary. I wanted a main event. You took it into your own hands and took that opportunity away from me. I'm gonna take something away from you, Yard. And all I had to do was pull some strings. And now it's official. Me and you, one-on-one -on -one at Famniversary. You know, you've changed, Yard, in the past. You could beat me three-on-one, four-on-one. Hell, I could bring a whole team. But, Yard, you've changed. And you know what? I don't care if you bring an entire army of those damn dummies. I will grab each and every one of them. And I will show you 25 ways how to shove them up your ass. For years, FAM has been entertaining you all, and we've enjoyed doing it as much as you've enjoyed it. Now, as we continue, we look to bring you more than ever before. We would like to introduce to you our new platform. FAM is now on Patreon. This is a new way for our viewers to experience FAM and its new exclusive content. Gain exclusive access to FAM superstars. Join our official podcast. Gain exclusive access to shows and pay-per-views early. Yes, this means you will be able to watch our shows and pay-per-views two weeks before they're live on YouTube. You can have these rewards and more for a donation as little as one dollar. Remember, we will still upload our content on YouTube. We are not going anywhere. This is your choice on whether you want to help us by donating or not. But by donating, you're going to get exclusive content, special rewards, and early access to FAM pay-per-views. With your support through donations, anything is possible. Remember, we'll continue to entertain you with our shows on YouTube, but with your support, we can do more. You can find FAM on Patreon by simply typing patreon.com slash FAM or just go on the link below. So come join us on Patreon and be ready to experience FAM on a whole new, new le level! You know Rob, when I first saw you, I saw a lot of me in you, and that is why I took you under my wing, and we formed a straight edge evolution, the most dominant team in all of SVR. Oh yeah, you loved being the center of attention, but I was behind your shadow doing nothing, not being your sidekick. I know you very well, Andy. I know you only came back because you wanted the spotlight back on yourself. And do you remember last year at the Rumble? What you did? You screwed me over and eliminated me! Even when before the match, you promised me that we would work together and fight it out fairly! And then, at the anniversary, I had never felt so satisfied with my life. When PH made your pathetic ass tap out. Oh, and then came the big news of you leaving FAM. Happiest day of my life. Then I took over at FAM to New Heights. Elimination Chamber match. The champion, Black Heron, defending his title against J2F, Gun, Stigma, Tarantula, and a mystery opponent. I finally realized that it was time for me to step up. It was my moment. But you saw how successful that man was becoming. And you decided to come back. That is Andy! The crowd is going insane. This is unbelievable. Andy Bagwell back in the ring. And he's locked in the chamber with BH. I want my rematch! And you thought that everything was going back to being the same as last year. I will get my title back. I could not let that happen. What?! Rob Buster just cost Andy Bagwell the title! As a result of this qualification, still, 
your world heavyweight champion, Black Arrow. You made the biggest mistake of your life. Not only you decided to join up with the real cancer, WFAN, BH, you cost me the type of opportunity I was craving for over 10 months. So let's see. Apparently now I have night off at 10th anniversary. But since you didn't win the Rumble, you have the night off as well. So don't you dare challenge me to a match. I challenge you to a match. I don't know what kind of drug you took from. I am better than you. But family anniversary. I'm gonna beat it out of you. I'm going to erase you from history.
mine, Andy. You're mine, damn it!
Mano, isso não tá no ar, You saw nothing, 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 nothing at all. Andy, I'm gonna do your thing. I'm gonna make sure you'll never have unprotected sex. You're welcome.
Time at me, bro. Hey, I'm no. Sandy. It's over. Just stay down, Andy. Stay there. Stay there for one gun. Don't come any closer. Don't you know? Playing these games, Andy. It's done. What the? Andy, stay down. Come on. Now what the hell? Damn it, Andy. Andy!
It's over, Andy. I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna put... What? Oh! Oh! Holy! Holy crap! 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 Damn! 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 Damn it! You're gonna break my goddamn neck! Those, those were nothing. That's it. I'm through messing around with you, Andy. You're dead, dead, Andy. <laughs> nice try. You're done. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, two original FAM members going at it for the first time at Vanniversary in a last man standing.
What the hell? Guns just got destroyed by J.D.W. How can Guns even come back from such a defeat? After a whole year of plotting, Guns has finally managed to get a rematch with J2F at Vamniversary. It's going to be another last man standing match just like last year. Only this time the risks are higher. Loser must be FAM. Will history repeat itself? Or will Guns come out on top, take J2F and thus end his nightmares? Oh my god! A spear right off the stage! These guys are killing each other! And that's it! Oh my god! Guns has won this match! And thus, J2F must leave FAM! Guns has eliminated Second Chance. Whoa, 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 what? Second Chance just pulled Guns from the Rumble as well? Wait a minute! Watch out! Spear right through the barricade! What the hell is going on here? Holy! It's him! It's J2F! We are going to witness history. J2F versus Guns. The final encounter at Famniversary 3. So what's this all about exactly? I've been hearing at Famniversary 3 there's going to be a gauntlet match between six YouTubers where the winner goes on to fight for the Fam Global Championship in that very same night? Now that, you know, that sounds interesting. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are interested in it also, but there seems to be one detail missing. I'm not in it. I am the king of the WWE games, and I'm sitting here without a phone call from FAM, and I'm not allowed to participate for the FAM Global Championship? No, no, see, no, no, that's unacceptable. And I'm not the only one that feels this way, so if you think I'm sitting here spouting my own bullshit, you're wrong. A special friend of mine agrees with me as well, and believe me, we will be at Famniversary, and we will make our presence felt, and believe me, even more when I tell you, you're not going to want to miss this event because not only are we going to be there, we are going to be the ones that you remember by the end of it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to FAM Raw. wins the Tag Team Championship for SES. The Crossface! Yes! BH wins. BH is the FAM New World Heavyweight Champion. Wait, what? What's going on here? BH! 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have to report that Andy Badwell has officially left FAM for unknown reasons, leaving Black Heron to name a new co-leader for FAM. This is some breaking news. Black Heron just named Ron Buster as one of the new leaders of FAM. Out of all these fools in FAM, Rom is the only one that is different, and is the only one with a vision. Now that he has rid himself of Andy, I have no problem making him leader. Whether you like him or you hate him, Rom has officially revolutionized the SES. What? What's going on? You don't tell me the skill foundation has joined VH. It's Andy! You've gotta wonder how happy Rom must be to see his old mentor back in FAM. What the hell did Rom just do? Andy was never my friend. He went away and left me hanging with nowhere else to go. While BH on the other hand, he gave me a new road. He gave me the path to lead FAM. He taught me to stop living in the past and to start being myself. Essentially, he showed me the light. He's my best friend. He's my only friend. Whoever is his enemy, <laughs> I'm their enemy as well. With Merck winning the Rumble and heading off to face BH, Rom will go one-on-one -on -one with his former mentor, Andy Badwell. Me and Rom are united. We are not afraid of anything. Anniversary. We will fight, we will bleed, and we will defeat our enemies together. There is no stopping us. Super GTS! That's it! Andy Badwell has defeated his own pupil at Famniversary! Twisted reaction! Oh my god! Merc has done it! Merck has taken the world title from BH. Ladies and gentlemen, FAM has taken a major blow. We've lost all our hard work. Half our members, including our world champion, have left us. All of a sudden, you know, FAM is now being viewed as this evil, dark, corporate place and everyone inside it is, you know, miserable. And the worst part is that I have lost my best friend. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it is with deep regret that I announce that as of this moment, Andy and Black Heron have decided to step out of FAM. Andy, even though we've had our differences, you are a founder of FAM. And for that, I respect you. MBH, I, I don't know what it is you have planned, but I miss you, dude. As I now begin carrying FAM on my shoulders, I am waiting for the day me and you both meet up once again. Until then, I promise to rebuild FAM stronger than ever. That is not just a promise, that is a vow! But until that day, Godspeed, my friend. Merc, I'll be damned if I let you come back to FAM with power after what you did to all of us! You want power? You're going to have to go through me! The two biggest faces in FAM history are about to clash with everything on the line. The victor will not only receive the ultimate bragging rights, but he will also be granted all of the power in FAM. It's over! Rom has taken out 2TM, and with that, he has become the undisputed leader of FAM. Wait, wait, is, is that an Andy? Andy Badwell? Oh my god! What the hell is going on? Andy back, but why? What's his purpose? 
With Andy's unexpected return and intentions still hidden, Rom wants answers. So he has challenged his former mentor to a Famniversary rematch here tonight. Oh my god, Rob did it, he did it. He finally beat Andy. Rom has silenced his critics. What is Andy doing? Oh Jesus! Rom is helpless. What is this? Who, who is that? Don't tell me it. It's Black Harem. VH is here. The former world champion. And he's come to get him some of Andy. This is a dream come true. We all know Rom has wished for this day. Wait, what? What's going on? BH and Andy are attacking Rom. This is how it is. Andy and BH are now working together. BH has backstabbed his best friend, the ultimate form of betrayal. How much pain, both physically and emotionally, must Rom be going through right now? Rom, you wanted to see me in the Fayemi game. Well, here I am. And I'm so embarrassed to see what has become of it. What you have done to Fayemi is unforgivable. You have ruined what me and Dandy have created. You filled it with nothing but dirt. You used the power I'd given you to corrupt our empire. And what hurts me the most is that it was all my fault. I was blind enough to place my trust in you. I was the one that gave you the ability to ruin everything me and Dandy have stood for. Me and Dandy are here to take back what's ours and take out the cancer that you brought in. So this is the real UBH? You bring people up and pretend to be their friend, their brother, and so at the end, you take everything away from them? Well, congratulations, BH. Not only did you manage to shatter my spirit, you also shattered my heart. BH, you know me better than anyone else. And if there's one thing I can't stand, it's when someone questions my passion for FAM. Even with a broken body and with a broken soul, I will not let you break FAM. If you want your precious leadership back, then you're going to have to take it from me. The most important match in FAM history, Von Buster and his partner Killswitch versus Betrayal. If Betrayal wins, then they will have total control of FAM while Rom, well, Rom will be stripped from leadership. Rom's gonna do it! He's about to beat Betrayal! Wait, what? What's going on here? Oh my god! What is this? No, BH, don't do this, no! Oh my god, BH just pinned Rom. Betrayal is now in power. Rom has given his blood, his sweat, his tears, he has given his whole life to FAM. And all of that now has been taken away from him by BH. With Rom being gone, we can now start the healing process of FAM. We're going to take out all the remaining trash and purify this place, once and for all. This is ridiculous. Betrayal is destroying everyone and taking everything in fam. This isn't a cure. This is nothing but a damn takeover. Looks like as if he's seen a ghost. It's Bomb Buster. How can he be back after all BH did to him? Yes! Yes! Rom just eliminated BH. BH's plan is ruined! Rom is looking to destroy BH and save Fam from his corrupted insanity. Rom, I crushed your body. I tore your heart apart. I took your spirit, I ended your existence. So, how are you here? Why? Why are you here? Answer me, Rom! How dare you, BH? 
to even have the audacity to call your stable betrayal. When the only person who has experienced true betrayal is me. I remember everything BH, the Skilled Foundation, the SCS. I treasured those moments we had together. I treasured the bond we had. But then you pulled the trigger. Just like that. You stabbed me in the back for power. Why did you do it, BH? Answer me! Since the day happened, the day when we lost everything and almost everyone, when Merck stabbed everyone in the back and left us hanging high and dry, and then you, you left him and every trailer back in FAM. You said it yourself, BH. Almost everyone. I was still here. True, loyal, and faithful members were here as well. And together, we rebuilt FAM and secured a future for all of us. And you, you came back with the intent of destroying their livelihood because you think they're not strong enough? They have stuck with us through the worst of times. They have shown the strength of their dedication to FAM and they deserve to be here. Once you saw FAM coming back from the pit it fell in, you seized the power that controlled the flame that me and the members had reignited. And then you did it. You finally executed my spirit at Survivor Series and took everything from me. I hope it was all worth it, BH. I hope that for you, the rewards for trading blood for money were more valuable than this brotherhood. And I do hope you treasured these last few months in FAM because all of this will end at Femniversary. And it will end inside hell in a cell. You think I did it just for power? Just like you, I did what I had to do for FAM. Yes, I put the trigger at you. Yes, I wanted power. I wanted to take your leadership. Because it was up to me to set everything right. I may look like a demon, but that doesn't mean that I'm not human. Right now, I'm feeling pain. You have no idea how much it hurts to be accused and judged because you want to do whatever it takes to protect what you love, to be seen as a traitor by the people that you help make. Everyone thinks that you're here in the story, and that's why a Femniversary that will not be a happy ending. Rom, a Femniversary will finish this, and I will finally put away my inner demons, once and for all. With everything I've been through because of this, hell seems like the perfect place to lay both of us to rest. No in a
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Faniversary 3 pre-show And our first for you all is the promised gauntlet match between these four contestants The following contest is the pre-show gauntlet match Making his way to the ring, Ben McKenzie Here we are, Rom, our first competitor in this match, Ben McKenzie Coming down and he's going to make some Faniversary history here at Faniversary 3 he made the history quite back at the Rumble when he officially returned to FAM. And I gotta tell you right now, I like the new look. I like the new attitude. And to be quite honest with you, I think he has probably the biggest, the biggest source to winning this match. Seriously. I, I, he's definitely got the talent, Rom. But will he have the will and fortitude to take out the rest of his opponents? Remember, this is a gauntlet match. He's got three other guys staring down. Right, and the winner will go on to face the YouTubers Gauntlet match winner for the Global Championship later this early same night. There comes his first opponent here. And his opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, Wabashi. Wabashi. DNA, don't you love this guy? You love him. Look at this little clown. What the hell is he wearing? Hey man, he's not wearing that superhero costume anymore at least. Yeah, he quit looking like cheap, uh, he quit looking like cheap Marvel spandex and got into the regular Gene Simmons spandex. Hey, is that an improvement or what? Oh, we're gonna see what Wabashi can do here against Ben McKenzie in this gauntlet match. First two competitors here. Right, these are the first two competitors, ladies and gentlemen, and here's how the match usually goes. Whoever takes the first fall has to go back to the long room, and the other opponent would have to come in and actually take on Wombashi or Ben McKenzie, whoever the winner may be of the first fall. That's right, Rom. Here we go. We're going to back up here. See who's going to get the advantage. Ah, Wombashi showing a little bit of gumption there. Right! You see, I don't get this about Wombashi. We've known Wombashi for years in FAM, and he has yet to show us his true capabilities. This guy just... I don't know, he has quite the unpredictable style. I, I don't know. He always changes. The guy may be brimming with talent and he just can't he just can't bring it out because he's always being held back by some other loser. Right, exactly. And that's what I hate the most about this guy's destiny, unfortunately. Oh, very nice. Right. Just look at this, man. Well Bunchy has it all. I don't 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 be like I said, don't judge a book by its cover because Wabashi truly has the capabilities to be a world champion. Call me a fool. Call me a fairy tale wannabe. But I'm telling you right now, Wabashi could actually end up being our global champion. Imagine that, DNA. That's a very good possibility here. He's going to take on the winner of the gauntlet match for the YouTubers later tonight at Faniversary. Wouldn't that be a story? Wabashi vs. Grimm's Toy Show. Let's mention Wabashi vs. Smack Talks. Like, dude, this thing could be anything. One on one, it could be anybody. He can, he has a chance to represent FAM for that global title. It's a this is it's an opportunity he shouldn't take lightly. And Ben McKenzie trying to get a pin here, but it didn't come up with anything. Right, and you know what? Let's not talk about Wabashi for a second because Ben McKenzie is right here, and Ben McKenzie is probably the most ruthless guy in this match. And to be honest with you, like I said, look at that. Wabashi is just mocking him. He has no time to mock. Look at that. Wabashi, like I said, do not mock Ben. He is as ruthless as they come. Look at that. See, headbutt. Oh, Ben. Ben's not going to give up anything here. He is, like you said, he's ruthless and he's looking to take advantage. He will put Wabashi down about as quick as you please. Well, Bashi needs to get serious. He's got to. He's got to stay focused. Right. And he said that. Look at that running bulldog. But prior to that, Ben was at the stomping a model. I think Well, Bashi's doing the same thing now. Busting the Irish whip, and that's that's the fall of Well, Bashi that's, taunting. That, that's that's you know haste makes waste, and he's wasting time. He's gonna end up paying for it. I show by Well, Bashi three times the charm, maybe. Or sorry, second time's the charm. Oh wait, here we go. Oh, three times the charm. Here we go. Oh! oh! Another sleeper slam. I'm telling you. Wobashi right now, believe it or not, he's dominating this match. It's, it's, a, it, it's, it's amazing to see. I mean, especially as bad of a beating as he took against the Resurgence. Right, look at this. Look at that. The agility and the power of Wobashi. I can't come. I can grasp this guy. Seriously. Oh, and a hip toss. Don't count Ben out yet. He's coming back here. What's it going to be? 
And on the ropes. Oh. One. No! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, to the outside! Dead me! Just said one punch. He ran it over the top rope. Look at that! When I mean bad is ruthless, he is! Dude, that is the most vicious knee I've ever seen in my life. Seriously. Oh, oh, and a nice side Russian leg sweep on the outside there. Right, you say don't count on Ben, but don't count, count on Wabashi. I mean, this guy, like I said, he is as unpredictable as they come. Wabashi's got a lot of heart. He's gonna right. have to use his brains if he wants to get by Ben. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that, using his brains. Like I said, at this point, I think Wabashi even needs... Wait a minute, speaking of that, Wabashi said he got for probably D. He's getting up. He's getting him up. What's it gonna be? Is it going to be the Bashi Backstabber? He hits it! The Bashi Backstabber! And then one more time. Down. There it is! Unbelievable! Wait, what the hell? So Ben just got up like nothing happened? What the hell is up with this guy? Oh, uh, well, you know. That's the resilience of Ben. What do you expect? The guy's not gonna go down from a simple move like that. It's not a simple move! That was Wabashi's finisher! Look at that! My god! Boots right in the face, just scraping Wabashi's face up. Oh, oh no. Looks like Ben's gonna set him up here. Alright, Ben's turn now. Ben is going to do it. He's gonna hit him in. Oh. Wait! What? By no! Wabashi. I'm telling you, Wabashi's a monster! He's a maniac! He's oh, reversing man. anything! Look at this! Wait! Oh! oh my St. Petersburg, Russia, the Russian Superman and Archimedes. Oh man, the Russian monster, the Russian bear, and Archimedes coming down. He's gonna put some fists, some feet, and a little bit of pain to his opponent. Right, I gotta tell you, it's gonna be quite the interesting way. I gotta tell you. Wabashi, the unpredictable, crazy lunatic, versus the Russian lunatic himself. This is going to be very interesting. Yeah, uh, Wabashi better have his A game on, because Anarchimus will screw him, he'll, 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 he'll tear him up. Look at that Irish by Wabashi, and look at that, even with, oh my god, look at that, I'm taking... Oh, well, he's in his, he's on, he's at, he's at his, he's bringing his A game tonight here, Ron. There's no doubt about it. I mean, even though the, the freaking edge now goes to an argument because he's been, he's fresh. You know, Wabash has been here for at least five minutes or six minutes beating the hell or vice versa with Ben. So you gotta wonder, how much of a toll did that already take away from Wabashi? There's no telling. I mean, I mean, he took, he took, he took a lot of damage, but it wasn't a uh, massive damage. Right, and that's unbelievable considering what what Baji did. Oh my oh, god, look at that! All right, off the top, it can be a pin here, one. It's not even a two count, man. It just shows you, man. That I mean, he's, still in, he's still in pretty good shape, Rom. He he might stand a chance here if he can just keep moving. He's gotta he's gotta keep he's gotta keep Anarchimus off his feet. Because Anarchimus is a dangerous man when he's Oh, oh my god, look at that reverse! He just reversed Anarchimus! No! Oh, no way! No! Buster again! Oh! Oh my God! No, he did it! What was he? He did it! One, two, what the hell? Kick out at two. Look at that, dude! You see, I think this goes way back where where this where Rakimus is just fresh. Oh! Slap! Disrespecting Walbashi. Oh, and now he's gonna bring the pain. Battle between the two redheads. Is that quite the catchy title or what? Oh man. It's like a ginger pincher. Right. Uh, you know, just like a ginger, an archivist has no soul. Ah, I'm gonna get flagged. Oh my god! Yeah, that was like a what do you even call that? It was like it was like a, a, a clothesline into the back of the head. He just spin him sideways, hit him in the back of the head. I mean, there's, there's no... That's like a Russian execution move. You don't see it coming and it hits you in the back of the head. I think we just found the official top of that move. And I think we're about to name one right now. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh. Close line. 
close line. Look at that one more time. That's Siberian close line. It's got to be over. I don't know why he's stalling. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shit. With Anarchy Hole. The Anarchy Hole. It's over. It's over. He tapped out. One plus he tapped out. I don't blame him. Anarchy was at fences. And up now is, we all know who it is like at this point, Mr. Sicko. The only competitor left. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Spanish warrior that is going to win this match from Spain. He weighs in at 220 pounds of muscle. Muscle, baby. And now, 7 inches of Sawami Spanish Sawami. Mr. Seiko. Who let that guy backstage? Seriously. How did he drive a car onto the stage? Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, please disregard Biakos' horrible announcing. But, as you can tell, Mr. Sicko is for a fight. He may not look it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, he is gonna go all out against Anarchimus because he wants that global championship. He wants to prove that he can take on anybody, especially one of those six YouTubers. They're driving. Oh, wait, Anarchimus will even letting a niche. It's gonna be brains against brawn here tonight, Rom. Mr. Right. Sicko, very good tactician, very, very crafty, very technical in the ring. And Archimus, a brawler. Oh my god, you're right, Danny. With a lot of power. Just look at that close line. You put it the man right on the head. Oh man. It's weird because I really gotta give the edge to Mr. Sickle when it comes to athleticism. I mean look at look wait. Look at that, you see? Rocker dropper laying him out. Just waiting for him. He's going over. Back across. Oh! Nice body splash. And Anarchimus goes down for a count of two. Did you see the height of that splash? Man, he got he's got jumps. The guy's got hops. Make no mistake about it. I was right. Give the athleticism edge to Mr. Sicko. Seriously. Mr. Sicko is probably the better all-around superstar here, but. Don't count an Archimus out yet. He's a brawler. He's got... Look at this. Right. Nice, look at that. Beautiful. I mean, that, that's beautiful technical moves. But, and Archimus comes with the power. He's only got to hit you once, Rom. Right. Oh. Oh, man. Look at that. That's some power from Mr. Sicko right there. Laying him out with almost like a Michinoku driver or a Falcon Arrow. Wait a minute. Oh! That super kick. Laying him out. Another body splash. Mr. Sicko is just, he knows he's got this in the bag. I mean, seriously, how how much is Mr. Did Mr. Sicko buy this spot by any chance by being the last guy in? He's got his ego working here for him, Rom. He's appealing to the crowd when he should be finishing off his opponent. Wait a minute! And that cost him. Look at that! He cost him! He was pretending too much! Uh, oh, lady mouth. Now he's got to take advantage. Let's take a little look at that super kick to the face. I don't even know how that did not take out Narcimus. Just to show you the resiliency of this guy. Narcimus, honestly, is the most underrated guy in FAM by far. He's going on top here. What's it going to be? Oh! oh nice. That connected. That, that actually connected. That actually connected on the worst. Came up. Oh, and he landed it right into his chest. It was actually almost an elbow drop, right? He's getting him up. Oh, Mr. Sicko's in trouble here. Mr. Sicko's in trouble. Wait, what the? What the hell? Oh my! What was that? It's like an Emerald Fire Thunder Driver. Holy crap! Three! And our has done it. He's won the Gauntlet match. He'll go on the face. Whoever wins the YouTube Gauntlet match later here tonight. For the Global Championship! So, Anarchimus could be the global champion? What the hell? What a career turnaround for Anarchimus tonight! What a phenomenal start from the man from Russia! He's got a chance to go places, Mom! He will go places tonight! My money's on him! I guarantee you, tonight, this guy will make history! I'm so proud of him! Well done, man! Well done!
Let's take a look at some of these moments. Oh, that horrendous clothesline to the back of the head. And then it was followed up later by another clothesline. I'm telling you, man, I have coming off the top here. Yeah, that he took out two of probably the most skilled. And then look at this. What do you want to call that? Ah, oh. I don't want it. The Russian driver or whatever, man. It's going whatever you want. It's worth. Ladies and gentlemen, be prepared for the biggest and grandest event in the history of not only FAM, but the entire WWE Games community. And with that, we invite you all to take this opportunity to take part in the celebration by letting us hear your voices with the Famniversary 3 Review Competition. What that means is that we want to see you, the fans, react to the biggest event in WWE Games community history, Famniversary 3. And the one with the best review or reaction video will be granted an opportunity to participate in FAM's next pay-per-view following Famniversary 3, Cyber Fam Day. Those who wish to enter have two choices. Either you do A, a review video, or B, again, this will get you extra cool points from us all, a live reaction to the show. Upload your video onto YouTube and send us the link at xfamxhd at gmail.com or send it to us through YouTube inbox, Facebook or Twitter. The two people with the best review video or and live reaction video will be part of Cyber Fam Day. Once again, we want you to be honest in your reviews or reactions. If there are stuff you don't like or you believe should have went a different route, then by all means, speak your mind. All we want to do at the end of the day is pretty much improve the quality of our shows. Also, before anything, I just want to give a quick shout out to those reviewers that actually put the time and effort to make a Rumble review a long time ago, nine months ago when the Rumble was out. So let's get down to it. Tyrid Michaels DX, Artist of War 59, STF Tricks, Aiden Pericolo, I hope I you know pronounced your name right there, buddy. Awesome 3111, Tony Rom, Daniel Bryan, Fan Place MC, Viox Gaming HD, Mr. Six, Rally, Jazz Bob, I hope I pronounced that too correct, Kirkman726, Junior Rocks 2012, and Desmond Cruz. Guys, I love your reviews of the Rumble, and I encourage you to do another one for Famniversary, because I truly enjoyed it, and you guys were just awesome. Thank you. So make sure you grab your popcorns very soon and get ready for the biggest and the most explosive event in the entire history of WWE Games. See you all very soon. What the f***, a dollar? So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it!
the breeze I was petrified Thinking I'll call you out by my side Spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong I grew stronger I learned how to get along Now your breath I'm out of sight Just walk in the van you hear With that sad look upon your face Change your stupid love Should have made you leave your key If I had no but just one second
on Tuesday, November 18th, 2014. WWE 2K15 hit our stores. With it came destruction and devastation. The scope of which is hard to fathom. 2K sacrifice modes. Washed away childhood memories. And permanently scarred our treasured landscape. As our desires vanished and limitations shattered our visions. Our members, our neighbors, and our loved ones lost everything. Some, even their lives. But when Mother Nature gave us our worst, we showed the world our best. Because our greatest attribute is our ability to overcome. It's a spirit that's alive in every video and every fan. From the promos to the simulations, from commentaries to community showcase, PS4 to Xbox One. From the passion of the SmackDown Hotel to the will of forever a movement. These are the people who make us proud. The people of YouTube. The people of FAM. Unbreakable. Unstoppable. We are forever a movement. Welcome to the land we love. Welcome to FAM. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. If you thought that we were finished, you've got another thing coming. FAM is not going anywhere. We're still here to entertain you. It's been a long and hefty road, but because of the undying support from all of you, we have inherited the strength to push forward. No matter how many obstacles there were to overcome, at the end, we are proud to say, finally, we are here. In just a few moments, all of you are going to witness with us the greatest WWE Games event in the history, a four-hour spectacular extravaganza, Faniversary 3.
Hotel. Patreon.com and Forever a Movement presents Faniversary. Three. It is the grandest stage of them all. This is what FAM is all about. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Faniversary Tree, where history will be made. We are here in the city of New Orleans, and I gotta tell you, what better place than to have history unfold right here tonight. You can just feel the electricity pumping in this stadium. And for what we have in store for you folks, I gotta tell you, that is only the gist of it. Let us look at the amazing lineup right now, folks. First up, we got newcomer Techno Tank Jr. He'll be taking on his opponents, the Kangaroo Killer, Luke Monet, as well as his other opponents, William Kingdom, and finally in the fourth corner, Muffy E. They'll be fighting for the grandest prize of them all in the Four Kings Ladder Match, the Battle for Olympus. And the winner will receive Pandora's Box, folks. And also, we got It's My Yard going up against Tubby Emu. In the match that the internet has been begging for for ages. It's my yard and Tabi Emo have had personal history in the internet and they were all settled right here tonight in Famniversary. Next up we also have Roberto going up against Mace Langster Dude for the new FAM Cyber Fam Championship. It is the colossal rematch and this time it's going to be a pink slip match meaning someone's going to have the ability to fire anyone right here tonight. After that, we have the Resurgence going up one-on-one -on -one in a tag team match against the Mafia for the FAM Tag Team Championships. I hope the Mafia ruined the Resurgence career. Man, pound them, boys! I just love the Mafia, man. If you're going to love that, you're going to love this. J2F in the third go-around against Guns. This time, it's going to be an Iron Man match. And the stipulation is, for every win that your opponent gets, you got to wait one year to challenge. It is the final battle between these two. Who will end up on top? And let's go on to this right now. The YouTubers Gauntlet match. The winner of this match will go on to face Anarchimus for the Global Championship later on tonight. Also, we have the main event. Black Heron goes one-on-one -on -one against Rombuster in the most evil structure in creation. The Hell in a Cell. The final chapter of the most epic feud in FAM ends here tonight inside Hell in a Cell. And speaking of epic matches, 2TM will be defending his FAM World Heavyweight Championship against the mystery opponent here tonight. The mystery and the revelation will be solved right here tonight. Don't forget to pick up Terradome 1 and Terradome 2, available on Kindle for $7.99. Great books, great time. In the lore of the ancient Greeks, dead tales of a battle. A battle for Olympus. When the gods had conquered their titan rivals, they claimed Olympus and stored there a treasure of immeasurable power. Pandora's box. Burned by this legend, four legendary kings met in a battle to determine who would claim Olympus and its crown jewel. Now, four new kings must rise to the challenge. Someone must claim Olympus, and someone must claim the prize. Case for blocks, Pandora's jewel still lures men. A prize that can grant them power or destroy their very soul. Four men, one opportunity. Four kings, the battle for Olympus. Don't 
to the ring from New York, New York, the million of wrestling, Techno Tank Junior. I gotta tell you, DNA, my money is on this newcomer right now. You can just feel the intensity and the charisma that Techno Tank Junior brings to this arena. Oh, no doubt. Techno Tank's got electricity just flowing from his body. You don't get any cooler than this. Look at this. So are you saying that he has the biggest chance of winning Pandora's box right here tonight? This guy is the most experienced, the most charismatic superstar in this match tonight. Maybe aside from Muffy E. But we're going to see what happens here when these four get into this match and get things on. And his opponents. 6'2", 210 pounds, from Perth, Western Australia, the Kangaroo Killer, Luke Monet! There he is, folks, that's right, the Kangaroo Killer, here competing in this four Kings Ladder match here tonight. Wait, 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 I thought I heard you wrong. You're actually calling him the Kangaroo Killer? Why? Yeah, Rob, why? Why not? Uh, uh, all right. I mean... All right, I'll go with it then. <laughs> this guy looks like he can kill somebody, that's for sure. Oh, he's about to kill somebody right in this Four Kings ladder match as soon as he grabs Pandora's box and claims it for his own. their opponents at 230 pounds from Elizabeth South Australia William Kingdom Ah oh, man speaking of killers this guy's the real dude he is the Australian brawler nobody can make up with his fist man trust me about that yeah Rom I'm sure he's a killer he may not be uh, Ted Bundy or John Wayne Gacy but I'm sure he'll get the job done well, uh, either way, folks, this guy right now has about 25% chance of grabbing Pandora's box and challenging for the championship of his choice at any time during the next year. Oh, man, and what an opportunity that is. I cannot understate it. And finally, at 6'4 and 275 pounds, the genetic prototype, Muffy. This freak of nature made his official FAM debut at the Rumble And I gotta tell you, he made quite an impact And let's be frank now, DNA This guy, with all his strength, has the biggest chance of actually winning this match And actually capturing Pandora's box Well, he definitely is the biggest guy in this match, Ron But remember, strength isn't, all, isn't everything when you're going into a Four Kings ladder when you got three other opponents trying to take that Pandora's box away from you. You're right, man. Anything and anything will happen. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Jewel, Pandora's briefcase. Will it be destiny or will it be doom? And here we go, folks. The match has begun. The four Kings ladder match for Pandora's box right now. The winner will either be doomed or he will receive the grandest prize. And here we go. William Gideon, left the rice, the Australian brawler. Landing it on Luke Monet. Or Luke Monet, I'm not sure. Oh, man. He's got him in the corner there, but he reverses it. Oh, beautiful clothesline coming off the corner here. This is going to be a hell of a match, Ron. Remember, there can only be two guys in the ring at a time. Eliminations right. can happen. Exactly. Now, speaking of that, oh, wait a second. Oh my god, Mike. Oh, Look, man. here's the thing. 
DNA. Whoever is knocked off bounce out of the ring. A hop in can happen at any time. That means Techno Tank or Mokta can enter the ring when either William King Dur or Monet leave. Either way. And oh my god, look, Monet's pounded. Pounded on William. Oh man, he's got him taking him to his head. What's he gonna do? He's picking him up, getting him ready for something. Oh, those kick there. Oh. Just exchanging blows here. They're just going back and forth. Yeah, they're straight with the Australian uppercut. Oh my oh, god! Oh man! What was that? What the hell was that? Hell, and Luke Monet rolled out. And here we go. Uh, looks like Techno Tanks coming in to take up the slack. Body slam. Yeah, and that's all part of the rules. That's all part of the rules, folks. Oh, kick to the head there. I think this is gonna be my guy right here. Techno Tank looks like he's gonna take it all. He just has that electricity, he has that persona. Oh, wait a second. Look, what I just forgot about the rules. Oh, look, you at didn't even realize it. look at this. Murphy taking advantage by taking out Luke Monet from behind. Oh, right there with a suplex. Oh, man, you see, this match is all you. Oh, man, this somebody forgot the rules of this match because they didn't look out for their opponents behind them. Uh, speaking of my voice behind them, what the hell is Murphy doing? Oh, attacking him over around the corner. The switch has been made by Oh! Oh, man, my God, Mom didn't even realize it. Oh. And now Techno Tanks taking advantage. Oh, Muffy's coming back here. What's it going to be? And oh. nice reversal. Side Russian leg sweep there. Techno Tank cannot get cocky all of a sudden. This is just the beginning of the match. Even though he has the upper advantage, anything can happen. Oh, man. Techno Tank. He's got to get into that groove, and he might have it here, but reversal by Muffy E. Remember, Muffy E, the strongest guy in this match. He's going to look to powerhouse all over these guys. Oh my god, and ladies and gentlemen, may I remind you, this is a ladder match, but the ladders can actually be on use after the last two opponents are in the ring. So right now, this is just elimination for now on. Back and forth action here between Techno Tank and Muffy E. Oh, beautiful, beautiful elbow drop. Well executed. Want to see that again, DNA? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, look here. Look, jumps, elbow into the chest, and Muffy E's going to need some heart surgery. Ah, oh, man. I see what you did there. Look uh, at his tight designs. I see what you did there. Oh, and Muffy E's coming back. He's going to. Bring it off something here. What's going to be? Into the corner. What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, this thing's going for a pin here. Oh, and a rope break. Nah, man. Mm. I got to tell you. Tech Melton got lucky. Oh, sometimes those ropes are your best friend, and sometimes they're your worst enemy. There we go. A spread just been made. And what the? Kingland's back in. <laughs> oh, man. Luke Monet taking a dive to the outside here. Oh, man. In the corner. Oh. No go for that flying fist draw. Oh. Oh, Techno Tank. Techno Tank exploding in this ring. He's just bringing the energy. Uh, oh, man. The brawler from Australia. Right. These are two polar opposites. This guy, I've got to tell you, no gimmicks, no nothing. This is William Kingdom guy just wants to beat the hell out of you, and that's his job. That's his routine every day. Oh, setting him up for here. DDT in the middle of the ring. Oh, driving his head right into the mat. What's he setting up for here? Oh, my God. Wait, hold on. Oh, reversal. What's the rope? What's it going to be? Oh! Jeez, he missed. It looked like he was going for a spear there, and he just fell out of the oh, ring. Oh, wait a minute. Look what it did. You see that? Oh, look at it. Look at it. He falls out of the ring, and then Luke Monet... Out of nowhere, came in with that jumping senton. This is what a four-key slider match is all about. I mean, the carnage, the insanity. I mean, it's just, it is what it is, folks. Welcome to FAM. Here we go with another pin. One. And only got the one count there. And that just shows, that's a testament of how tough William Kingdom, this newcomer, is. Oh, William Kingdom, he's not going to lay down. He's not going to lay down for Luke Monet in this match. It's just not going to happen. You can bet a hell of a fight once it gets up. Here it comes. Set up here. Into the corner here. Oh, wait, a miss. 
And it looks like Williams setting him up into the corner here. What's it going to be? Looks like he's backing up. Might be going for that avalanche. Oh, oh and he does. Out of that avalanche and tip into a neck breaker. What a beautiful combination. I've never seen such great technical wrestling in any of match to date. Oh my god, I haven't seen so many beautiful kicks from there. So that's basically uh, look what it's King's done, right? He also just kicked. Oh wait, I switch has been made right now. He's he's uh he's what you might call a semi-martial artist. He likes to use those educated feet to get himself in close so he can bring him down. Oh, he's the FAS version of John claude Van Damme. Absolutely. That's not a good sign when you're up against Muffy E, baby. And here uh, we go. Oh! oh! Spinning Fisherman suplex on oh, Muffy E, man. He's got him. Oh, man. Muffy's, Muffy's setting him up here. He's got a side suplex. Laying him in. Man, got trench right there. Oh, man. It could be Muffy's time to shine right here. It's going to the top. This ain't his comfort zone, I gotta tell you. Oh! And it's gone net! He's just nailing everything here. This drop, number two, and third time's a charm. Just imagine the impact of those arms, of those fists coming down with that weight of Muff E, the biggest guy of this match right now, and just a testament of the strength right there. Picking up Techno Tank. Oh! Driver. That was it. That's gotta be the end. No, no, that's it, that's it. It's done. Oh, pounding on his back here. No, oh, he's getting a little workout in. Yeah, yeah, insult to injury right there, folks. That's technical Muffy right there. Nothing fancy. Oh, man, he's coming up. He's setting him up for something here. That's gonna be it. Oh, oh my God, the swinging figure, it's over. That's gotta be it. No, Techno's done. There's no way Technico's teching out of this. It's over. Out of this match, folks. After that swinging neck breaker, you, you gotta imagine he's out of this match. And who's gonna be the next one to step in against Muffy? Oh, come oh. on! Do not! Do not go after William Kingdom! This guy's as tough as Muffy or even tougher! Man, don't don't get too close to those ropes. That's just a, a trap waiting to happen. Right? And then there were three DNA just like that. It's hard to see it right now, but dude. Anything can happen. Like I said, four men, one opportunity. Uh, Kingdom rolls out. Luke's going to take his spot. Oh! So the fan favorite is out already. Let's just put it right there, folks. No, he's not going to be happy about that. We know that. It's, 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 it's coming to the, your own match on FAM and end up the first guy being eliminated. That's got to be a, a, a painful walk to the back. Man, beautiful fist drop right there. Muffy stepping out. You know what that means? That's right. And William Kingdom making his way in with the two oh. Australians now brawling. Oh, he's going to have to cut past those fists. Oh, nice reversal there. I got to tell you, so far between these two Australians, uh, William Kingdom has been the commander of this match. I got to tell you. Oh, they've had their, they've had their, each had their fair share of good runs here, Rom. They, they've each had uh, controlling aspects of the match. What they're gonna have to do is try to eliminate one or one or the other, or at least team up and take out Mufta because he's probably the biggest danger in this match at the moment. Oh, outside to right out in front of us here. Look behind you, look behind you. Oh man, look like he's gonna do. No, he tried oh. for the springboard, but he faked and it out. This is the third time he actually missed. Look, stop doing this. Seriously, it's not happening. It's just not your move, Luke. It's just not your move, man. Yeah, put it that way. That's right. Oh, Muffy. Looks like he's setting him again. Oh, boy. There's those elbows to the back. Wait a minute. Technically, he's out of ah. the ring. Technically, William Kingdom should be there, too. Yeah, there's three men in the ring. One of them's going to have to leave. It looks, looks like Mufa's going to take the step out. Yep. Oh. And here comes Luke Kingdom right back with those fists. Setting him up. Look under and oh! Lou has press. He just pounded, pounded on poor Luke. Man, this match is just intense. It's just all over the place. 
And it is just the opener of this historic event right here, folks. Fabniversary 3, we are live. And don't forget, later on tonight, we got that epic match between Black Heron and Rom Buster. The Hell in a Cell, it's coming up here in the main event. Stay tuned for that. Hey, still burn up, folks. History in the making. I keep repeating like a parrot, but it's true. This ain't false advertisement. History will be made right here tonight, folks. And it's going to start right here as Luke William Kingdom picks up Luke Monet to pick him up for something here. What's it going to be? He said another snap suplex. Uh, and oh, yep. suplex. Wait, wait, wait. Yep, going around. Two for the show. And three to ready. And he collects them both. Oh, my God. All three of them. He's on a roll. William Kingdom right now is the hardest guy in the ring. No hold. Oh, man. Let's take a little look at that. You got that, that trifecta that three amigos in on him. That's gonna have to do some immense damage on Luke Money's body right now. Oh man, he's suffering right now. He's gotta get up, he's gotta get back in this match. He's not gonna last very long if he doesn't. Oh, wait, wait, so wait, he's wait. for a springboard, nice! Oh, that wait. elbow off the, off the ropes of that springboard attack. That's your move, Luke, see? Not the flip, whatever it was, flip sent on. Yeah, that wasn't his move. Looks like Muffy's coming back in. That's right. He's taking control of this match. Side suplex. My God, Mufta is a gut wrenching machine. It's 300 pounds, Rom. 300 pounds of pure muscle standing in the ring. What the oh, Kingdom Cutter! The Kingdom Cutter! Is he actually gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Wait a minute. Three! Muffy e is eliminated. And here it is. Another look at that Kingdom Cutter. Bam! He just eliminated Mufta! And now it just comes down to these two Australians. Mufta is out. They, one of these two, are destined for greatness. They're so, they're gonna they're gonna be celebrating in Australia tonight as two of their homeboys are coming in to finish this match. One of them's gonna take the ladder and get Pandora's box, and the other's gonna walk out a loser. My God, and I gotta tell you, William Kingdom wants it. He wants it. He's been pounding nonstop on Lugan. Oh my God, we have Buddy Avalanche on him. Avalanche laying him down. Looks like picking him up here. straight on his back. That is not good for Luke. I gotta tell you right now, he is not looking so good against... Oh! oh, oh slapping God. him. Slapping him like he was... Oh! And a super kick outside of the ring. A slap and then a kick right in your face. Oh, that's got a that's, rage. That's insult to injury or more like injury to insult. Oh my God, in a suicide dive. These guys are gonna kill each other. Oh, what a phenomenal match, Rom. What a phenomenal... Now he's going for that ladder. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the letters are, can now be legally used in this match since the one-on-one. -on -one, and Penta Box is right there on top. They just have to grab it, and that's it. They will be destined for greatness. Right here, off the announcer's table. And then... Oh! oh! Those steps. Just damage, just damage. He's just doing it to him. Right. Damaged legs means he can't climb up, and that's it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Reversal here. Picks him up. Oh, oh, side slam of his own. I think he had his soldier actually hit the, uh, the chairs right there. My God, John claude Van Damme. I think we should stop calling him the kangaroo killer and just go with the John claude Van Damme thing. What do you think? Oh, man. He's probably got John claude beat. Damn straight. John claude has done, has done this much damage in years. Oh, he's going for that ladder now. William has got to get in the ring. Pronto, here we go. Pronto, William. Oh, he's going up for that. He's going up for that briefcase. William, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, no. Oh. pushes him over on that ladder. His hit hit the turnbuckle, I think. He's knocked down. He's out. He's out. He's late. Oh, wait, here he comes. He's getting back up. Kingdom's waiting for him. He's ready. Oh, oh. that ladder straight to the face. Should have stayed down, I think. Really. Here we go. One more time. Kingdom pushes over this ladder. Yeah, he hits something. He hits and then something. he picks the ladder up and he uses a weapon here. One of these guys is going to the hospital. That's a promise I can make to you. One of these guys is going to the hospital and one of these guys is going to go on and face for a championship. Possibly, Rom. Remember, there's no telling what's inside that briefcase. Yeah, exactly. And I think it happened. Doom or Destiny. Did those two Ds make the whole difference? Double Ds. I love them. Yeah, that's great. Not one from Adam and Denny. Oh, he got him into the corner here. Oh! 
drop kick into that ladder. These guys are just going full force. These two guys are just are just killing each other, and that just shows you how much they want this. They both want it right now. He's probably gonna have to kill him to get him to stay down. They both want this in the worst way. We should have made this an unsanctioned, let's be honest. Oh, absolutely. Picking him up. Up. Oh! German suplex onto the ladder, neck taking damage. That's what this game is all about. Uh, it's done. Here's your winner, folks. Oh. There is no need at this point. William Kingdom's down. Luke is just making sure of things right now. Luke is just, he's just trying to get back some of those hits he took earlier on. He just wants a little bit of revenge. I don't, I revenge shouldn't cloud your judgment when it comes to Pandora's box. Look at that now. Look at that. Oh, reversal. You know, you, you, you can't, you can't play around. You have to take care of business. You can't get too cocky. Snap suplex. So he's a brawler and a suplex machine. This William Kingdom guy, he's... He's all around package, man. Look at this guy. Damn straight. And setting him up here for... Oh! oh! That's another variation I've ever seen before. Was that a small oh, man, package? That was like a, that was like a uh, fisherman's ba brain buster almost. Right. No. Got him up here. What's he going to do? Actually, his leg, his leg hit the ladder. Oh, it's man. done. It's, it's done. over. It's got to be done. Are you freaking uh, kidding me? Kingdom, Kingdom, you got to make your move, man. You got to just get up there and get the briefcase while you got a chance. Are you He's freaking kidding me? These guys are going to kill each other. They're on uh, top. On top of that ladder. What's it going to be here? Reach He's it, going for it. Reach it. He's reaching it. Oh, no. Kingdom coming back. It's over. If he can just get up there and grab that briefcase, it's all his. It's all his. He's got it right now. He sights. lost his clutch. He lost his clutch. Oh man, Luke, Luke, you better move. How did Luke get up? Oh, 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 he pushes over the ladder, but Kingdom's holding on to that briefcase. Oh, oh no! Powerbomb. Off the briefcase into a powerbomb. He goes, oh, just harsh. Just harsh. No, man, it's done. Officially. No, there's oh, no way. Oh, man. How did... Oh, my God. How are these guys getting up? How would... Explain to me, DD. How are these guys getting up? This is physically impossible. These guys are tough. Tough as steel. I'm telling you. They're they're not going to... You're not going to keep them down that easy. Are all Australians like this? Are they like Terminators? We don't even oh, know it. Oh, man. It comes from living in the outback, having to fight dingoes every day. Yeah, it's great. Maybe he is the kangaroo killer. Who knows? Oh, man. Let's see, setting him up here. What's it gonna be? Another side nurse. suplex. Oh wait, inside slam. Oh my god! Like I said, I can't even find out what these guys are taking right now. It could be a super, could be a slam. It could be a friend kingdom cutter from a top to letter. This is just insane. If you really want non-stop action? You're talking about FAM. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. holy Jesus, Christopher! What the hell was that? Whatever you call that, it looked like it was painful. Keep up. That's it. He's got it. It's over. It's over. He's got it. He's got to pull it down this time. It's done. How it's done. Is William Kingdom even getting up? I just don't. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no. Same predicament. Different story. Oh my oh, God. A little payback there. He turned the tables on him. Let's go for another power ball. But it's enough. We already did power. Wait a minute. Reversal. How could he reverse that after being thrown from 50 feet in the air? Oh, we got a little comeback here. He's making it to the corner. And what's he said he got for here? Oh my! Oh, that Australian elbow! Uh oh, now he's setting up. It's gonna be the kangaroo killer. Is he gonna kill his first opponent? And he kills oh. it! Dead big knee! Looks good! Looks good! All he has to do is sell the letter and climb to greatness. He's going from down under to the top of the ladder. And he's gonna do it. There's nobody left. Luke's got it. Yeah, well, wait, what's going on here? What the? Oh! What the hell? What the hell? 
What is this? What is this? What? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. What the? Pushes Luke Monet off the ladder. What the heck? What? 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 Oh my god, no! Oh, oh my! We just laid Luke down! Luke's out! I don't. He's climbing the ladder! Wait! He's climbing the ladder! Why? Wait! Why is he pit? He got it! He got it! Wait! Wait! So wait! The opponent has taken Prandor's briefcase and the match is over! Who is this guy? What just happened? Tene, who's this guy? Here, D this guy just—he just took Pandora's box. Everybody's in, in shock. Look at the crowd. What the hell just happened? Who's this guy? You know what sets the puma apart from other cats? Is his ability to pop out of nowhere, drop his prey, and climb to the top. At Famniversary Three. This puma will battle six of the biggest prey for one opportunity to become the new FAM Global Champion. Come FAM anniversary, my opponents will learn by the time they hear that roar that it's too late. Make way for the Puma World Order. Every story has a beginning. My story began at Cyber Fam Day. He's cashed in and won the FAM World Title! And at Fam Anniversary, my time will come. Two Twisted Merc is always in control. I am Two T. consumed the fam universe. His selfishness and trickery disrupted fam's universe. Fear not, for fam will witness a big bang. And from here on out, all corruption shall be cleansed. Anyone who opposed the cleansing shall be in the next big bang. Alright guys, Tommy and welcome to a new promo. The only thing brighter tonight than the stars in the sky is the stars of Famiversary and Tom Cushney is a bona fide super nova. Six superstars will clash for one chance to become the new Fam Global Champion and shine brighter than they have ever shined before. But spoiler alert, you're looking at the winner. So step up or step aside, Tom Cushney is coming through and at Famiversary 3, he's going to take out all other five so-called superstars and become the mother trucking solar flare. For years, FAM has been entertaining you all and we've enjoyed doing it as much as you've enjoyed it. Now. As we continue, we look to bring you more than ever before. We would like to introduce to you our new platform. FAM is now on Patreon. This is a new way for our viewers to experience FAM at its new exclusive content. Gain exclusive access to FAM superstars. Join our official podcast. Gain exclusive access to shows and pay-per-views early. Yes, this means you will be able to watch our shows and pay-per-views two weeks before they're live on YouTube. You can have these rewards and more for a donation as little as one dollar. Remember, we will still upload our content on YouTube. We are not going anywhere. This is your choice on whether you want to help us by donating or not. But by donating, 
you're going to get exclusive content, special rewards, and early access to FAM pay-per-views. With your support through donations, anything is possible. Remember, we'll continue to entertain you with our shows on YouTube, but with your support, we can do more. You can find FAM on Patreon by simply typing patreon.com slash FAM or just go on the link below. So come join us on Patreon and be ready to experience FAM on a whole new, new level. level. I came from a wrestling company that allowed superstars to do whatever they wanted, both inside and outside the ring. Don't get me wrong, fam is great and all, but what happened out there was anything but professional. You said things were going to change here, and I had nothing to worry about, but evidently I had to put up with three. Not one, not two, but three no-selling bastards out there. I'm no rocket scientist, but it looked like they wanted to make me look bad. I bring the Four Kings match over and this is how I get treated? <laughs> Don't make me get too tech up and fam. Trust me, you won't be able to withstand the two tech revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the site of the historic event known as Famniversary 3, where some strange history has already unfolded right here tonight. Apparently this, this creature, this monster came from the depths of hell and he took Pandora's box. This guy wasn't even in the match. Better yet, we don't even know who this guy is. And for what reason he took Pandora's box, we are also a mystery upon. But we're hoping to find out sometime later in this program. Well, uh, you might know the reason why. I know. I know, Ron. You gotta tell me what I know. I know you're an idiot. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, it is the master of the Shining Wizard. It's my head going up against the biggest man on YouTube, Tubby Emo, in what is said to be the most requested match of the internet. These two guys butted head at the Rumble, and they will settle the score right here, right now, in Famniversary. Tick tock. Tick tock. Oh, Tubby. Why are you so mad, man? The whole scenario had the Royal Rumble? Hey, I was only joking, you know? You know. I mean, did you really think you had a chance of winning? I was trying to have some fun, you know, crowd, get the applause going, giving the little time we had together. But you want to challenge me to a match of anniversary? Trying to cause a scene? Trying to get your tubby rage on? You want to throw down with the dummy? Well, I will enlighten your little request, you little boy. Your Kevin Owens ripoff. A anniversary. Tubby Emu versus It's My Yard. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Introducing first, the Yard Man, It's My Yard! Well, let's recap really quick, DNA. The reason why these two guys are fighting right here right now is because, let's be honest, they're not the best affiliates on YouTube or anywhere else. So, and at the Rumble, we kind of showed, we kind of saw that coming. These two guys, eh, never got along. And also, for some reason, I don't know how, don't speculate, but Yard has like an army of these dummies and he did quite the job on Tubby Emu at the Rumble, having him both eliminated. That's right. And Tubby Emu's gonna have to keep that in the back of his mind as he takes on It's My Yard, because those dummies can come out for a little bit of trickery, a little bit of magic that can help It's My Yard take this match. I had a chance at the Famniversary main event. At the Fam Royal Rumble, It's My Yard cost me that opportunity. Yard, let's be 100% clear. You and I, we've never liked each other. We've been two of the biggest fish in this YouTube game for a long time. Well, guess what? 
The one thing I could never do was beat you, and I didn't want to face you at fan anniversary. I wanted a main event. You took it into your own hands and took that opportunity away from me. I'm going to take something away from you, Yard. And all I had to do was pull some strings. And now it's official. Me and you, one-on-one -on -one at fam anniversary. You know, you've changed, Yard, in the past. You could beat me three-on-one, four-on-one. Hell, I could bring a whole team. But, Yard, you've changed. And you know what? I don't care if you bring an entire army of those damn dummies. I will grab each and every one of them. And I will show you 25 ways how to shove them up your ass. YouTube teaming Tommy Emu. You can see it right in his eyes, man. This guy is just waiting to get his hands on the art. He just wants to kill him. That's right, Ron. The biggest man on YouTube coming down to face It's My Yard. But as we mentioned, he's got to have to watch his back. It's going to be a hell of a contest here. And this is something the fans have been waiting for for the longest of times. Hold on. Wait! That, that's one of those fake dummies! He just blindsided Tommy from behind! As he said, DNA, never turn your back! You can never know what's going on with these dummies! My god, the yard's gonna have the advantage, what the hell is he? Ah, and he laced Tommy right in the middle of the ring, and now he's leaving! But it doesn't matter, folks, because Tommy's on the commission, and the yard, this easy pickings for him! Oh, and now the bell rings, and wait a minute, no way! Tommy's already up! The yard doesn't know it! Slam from the top rope. What does it take to keep Tubby down? That's a good question, Rom. As we go into the air, I'm telling you, it doesn't even have a soul. Is he a machine or something? Would even know? It's like, oh wait a minute. Oh, oh man, oh, covered in head to toe with that red yellow human or machine. This guy knows how to diss people. I can guarantee you that. And he knows how to put people down too. Oh, with that drop kick coming straight into the Tubby's chest. Spinning leg drop, man. Tubby has the weight advantage, but I gotta tell you, the agile advantage definitely goes to the dummy yard right here. Oh man, he might be he might oh. be a dummy, but he's not really a dummy because this guy knows how to get in there and put it to it. And oh, beautiful standing twisting moonsault something I don't know what you call it but it was beautiful yeah there was a course for freaking moonsault and oh my god what the hell is he up for here man oh my god he's spinning Tommy right round oh, right round baby right, right, right round right round and blazing down straight to the mat to be honest I don't know how we are slaving dizzy from that too oh man this match has been a long time to run. the fans have been asking for this match Longest. They want to see Tubby Emu. They want to see It's My Yard. And that's what they're getting here at Famniversary 3. Oh, but you see, Yard, he has a history of taunting. And I'll be honest right now, that wasn't a good time to do so. Tubby, Tubby and Yard both have egos the size of the Oh, my sweet. Beautiful move there. What's It's My Yard going to do here? He's going up to the turnbuckle, like I said, and this is comfort zone, and oh my god, it's the same course for move back from the top rope. Oh man, he's going high impact, high intensity here. He's going to do it twice. Oh. Oh, it didn't pay off that time. It didn't pay off. Sometimes it just doesn't pay off, DNA, like I said. It's the risk and rewards of the top rope moves. Uh, tell me with a fireman of his own. No, uh, lifting him up. Military press slam, laying it's my yard right into the mat. That just shows you how much that he doesn't care about you. He just dropped him like not even a sec of dumb rocks. At oh, <laughs> kick to the knee. That wasn't a low blow, right? No, it wasn't a low blow. It was a kick to the knee. Nice suplex. He's gonna have to figure out a strategy here. You can't just go all in on this guy. You gotta figure something out. He's a smart player. Oh. He's just nailing yards, nailing him it. Oh my god, Man, he's got those fists right to the face on the outside here, right out in front of the fans. That was jealous. I think I think he actually knocked the dummy out. Look at that, he's dazed. Shoving him back into the ring. We're gonna see that again. I gotta make sure. Oh man. Two. 
and three to grow on. Yeah, that he's out. He's on pull. Right. Looks like Yard's coming back here. Oh my god, a drop kick. What the hell? Look out. Look out. Yeah. Oh! oh my god. Yard, I was thinking never thought he had that much of an edge on look. Look at this. Look at that. Flying body splash from the over the top rope. No, let's be honest right here, dude. I was not expecting this from Yard, right? But he's putting it right to it for Tubby right now. It's it's oh man. He's he's going the clean route this time around. He's gonna prove that he's the best. He just doesn't care about his body. I think he literally in red, uh, reflects his own name. Crash test Tubby. That's it. And, oh, that. oh, he kind of landed on the ropes there a little bit, but he managed to recover. But if, and the dunking right oh. here. Oh, yeah, and then ugly. Oh man, Tubby's Tubby's got to he's got to take advantage here. One, two. Oh no, go for this time. Tubby needs to get off here right now. This is all yard right now at this point. Oh, yard's gonna have to take it to to, to Tubby if he hopes to hang on to this match. These two are not the best of friends. Oh my. And if speaking of butting heads, there was a headbutt for It's My Yard laying him down. Let's just put it this way. Both these guys have an attitude, and both these guys are probably the biggest... Oh my god, the biggest drive, the biggest ego on YouTube. No offense, but this is what I put to the air the best. Let's see if we get it here, too. No, no. Only the, only the two. Oh, and a pummel right on the head. Oh, picking him up. Oh my god, he told me. Tubby, I'll be honest right now, I think Tubby has been hitting the weights. Don't be fooled. He, he may be a Tubby guy, but he's a strong guy. The biggest guy on YouTube. Look at that. This guy is just tossing it. Oh, taunting him with the loser taunt. Look at this. Flapjack laid him out. And there wasn't just once, he did it twice. And, oh my god, no, man. I gotta tell you, even though power goes to Tubby, I got agile and probably intelligence goes to the dummy. I don't know why you call him a dummy to begin with. They're just playing the smart game from Tubby right now. Oh man, but he's making a crash test dummy out of Tubby Emu here, throwing him around like a rag doll. Pretty much. Man, I gotta tell you, these guys just never like each other. They, that's why they're going all out to make sure this guy. Oh this. my god! Oh, beautiful! Only got a count of two. The fans are loving this. The fans are just so. This. Oh. this is the most requested YouTubers match of all time. Let's be frank. Oh man, people were requesting this in the Rumble, and now they're getting it here at Fan Reversary. How much more can you ask? Probably a donut, but there's not going to be. No. One, two. Oh no. Only got a two on that one. Tubby's taking advantage of this match. What's he gonna do here? What? Reversal into the... No! Yard is so quick. He's so quick. You gotta watch your step because he'll take you down in a moment's notice. Look at that. Another one of those cold shoot insults. Oh, man. Spinning leg drop. I gotta tell you, Yard right now is taking it onto him. I don't know who's gonna come out victor in this match. It's so well, it's so well, well even. I mean, you got the, the speed and the intensity from It's My Yard, and you got Emu with the power and the body and the build. Is he going for it again? Oh yeah, he's playing with the turnbuckle again. I gotta tell you, this won't end well. I promise you. Or maybe it did. He landed it. And he looks like he's going for a. Oh man, you can tell he's tired, but he's going up for that third round. He just doesn't care about his body. Crash Test Tommy is his name after all. Oh, and the miss with that elbow drop. It's always the second jump that fails. I mean, seriously. Tubby's gonna throw him into the corner here. Ooh, shoulder block. What's the setting up for here? Like, oh, punch right in the face. What the hell is he up for now? Oh man, laying him up here. What's it gonna be? This looks like a superplex. And it is! God, that's it! That's it, it's over, no, guarantee. That superplex from the top rope will take a lot out of you, but is it gonna be enough to keep It's My Yard down? Is it? We're gonna see here in a second. Oh, body splash from that middle rope. One, two. How did, how did Yard out of that? I, I don't know, DNA, you tell me. It's amazing. How the guy keeps getting up, I have no idea. He's got that will, he's got that heart. Wait a minute. No! 
Is he actually going? He's going for the Tommy Bob. He does it. The Tommy Bob. It's that one. Two. What a kick out. A kick out. He gets it with that Tommy Bob. And he still kicks out. How? Does Tommy X. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. What do we got here? Oh, there it is. Setting him up. What's it gonna be here? Shining Wizard! The Shining Wizard! It's done! It is done! He's pulled it out. Wait a minute. What's he going for here? Wait a minute. What the? And another Shining Wizard! What the? He wants to kill Tommy! Now let's take a look at it again. Kicks the knee, comes up, knee to the face, Shining Wizard! He's dragging Tubby's now lifeless body. Let's put it that way. Oh, man. Wait a minute. No. Another one. Oh, here we go. One more time. Shining Wizard. It's done. It is done. That's it. Three Shining Wizards. How is Tubby ever going to kick out of this? It's done. One, two, what? Wow. That was three Shining Wizards. How is that possible? No, Danny, no. The man is a mountain. Oh, he's a rhino. He can't be stopped. He's a juggernaut, bitch. Get out straight and tell me with those bionic elbows. Oh, he's getting up. Yard is done. He's finished. Got him set up. What's it going to be here? Looks like it's going to be another tubby bomb. And that's him up. Tubby bomb. And he nails it. This time it's over. Is it over? Two. Three. And he did it. Tubby wins. Tubby wins the match. Retribution for Tubby! Tubby has taken home this victory here tonight. Tubby Emu is the winner of this YouTuber match. He is the winner of this grudge match. He is the winner here at Famniversary 3. History has been made, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta tell you, Yard is not happy. That's a definite wrong. Yard's not gonna be happy. And we're gonna see if this continues or whether it finally comes to an end. But tonight, Tubby Emu has set the record one to nothing. Tubby has indeed won this match, folks. No. Wait a minute here. What? No, wait. Oh, no. Did Tubby just low blow Tubby after he exchanged his hand, too? Oh, wait a minute. And a shining wizard by Yard. Never, ever offer peace to the dummy. And now Yard celebrating as if he won the match. And to be honest, folks, Tommy did win the match, but it's Yard over here that has the last lap. Honestly, one thing's for sure, though. This thing is far from over between these two. This is Ebenezer Milskoff, and coming up at Famiversary 3, I am going to add the Global Championship belt around my fat waist at the expense of you other assholes. Because beating the shit out of you in the six-man gauntlet match is going to be a piece of cake. And then when I'm done, I'm going to have a piece of cake. Nailed it. Becoming the global champion at Famiversary 3 is not just what's best for business. It's also what's beast for business. And then afterwards, I'm going to eat, which is what's feast for business. But remember one thing. At the Famiversary 3, I am going to beat you bitch asses so bad, you'll regret ever creating a YouTube account. Yet you I'll fuck with Evan Easy, because beating up bitches like you is what I poo. Nailed it. Hey, I'm John Cena. You can't identify my image. That's my move, yo. Hey, what's going on? This is my show, The John Cena Show.
Oh my god, it's you, isn't it? Oh, hey there, little guy. Rage back! Oh, you're my favorite! Hey, thanks, kid. What? What about me? I'm the champ. Man, I love rage back now. Uh, Can you say it? Can you say I'm the always hungry line? I'm always hungry. Son of a bitch, I should kick you in the road. Can I have your autograph? Sure thing, kid. <laughs> right, that's it. You're coming with me. I'm driving you home. Can you sign this for me, too? How about that for a sign? Huh? Thanks for the ride home, Cedar. Shut up. I mean, y you're welcome. You know, I've been a big fan of yours for some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, it's a great story. Someday I just hope to be even slightly popular as you. Yep, well, that's not gonna happen. One day to hold that wrestling championship would just be amazing. Yeah, well, I'm the champ, so no chance there. Well, you can't stay champ forever. I will stay champ forever. Okay, calm down, Sila. Don't tell me to calm down. You just missed my stop. You're never going home. Because we're going to get some pizza. Really? I love pizza. You know what I always say? I'm always hungry. Yeah? Well, eat this. Wait, what? What? So what you're saying is that you were driving along with Mr. Rageback in the passenger seat who was constantly complaining about how much of a better wrestler you are uh -huh. when suddenly out of the blue you were abducted by aliens. Then after they ask you questions about how awesome you are, then they send you back to this spot to watch Mr. Rageback go over the cliff in the car. Yeah, I guess it kind of sounds... Sounds perfectly believable! That seems a perfectly logical explanation to me. <laughs> you were just lucky those aliens were passing by. Yeah, I guess I was. Now, I know it might be a bit of an inappropriate time, but I'm a big fan of yours. Any chance of a signature? Of course you can, officer. I'm John Cedar. Oh, yeah. Everybody's attention now. Get up! Which is the generation? Reveal your identity. Why are you trying to play games with me? Do you even know who I am? I made the FAM six years ago. You cannot control my creation. Any other person that tried to do what you're doing has failed miserably. Betrayal has made the FAM a better place, and the next match will show it. Enjoy. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, it is the rematch between two colossal beasts, Dude and Roberto, for the first ever Cyber FAM Championship with a pink slip stipulation. One guy's gonna walk out the champion, the other guy's gonna walk out jobless.
The following contest is the Pink Slip Match. Making his way to the ring from Sheffield, England, Macelingster Doom. Here comes Duty at Faniversary, baby. This is time to shine. He has a chance to walk out with that new Cyber Fan Championship, and he better take advantage here tonight because it's going to be a rough match against Roberto. All I know is that I'm going to see the future, and the future reads F5. F5. F freaking 5. Well, that remains to be seen. And his opponent, at 7 foot, 325 pounds, from parts unknown, Roberto. DNA. Yeah, I know we've known Roberto for a long time, but could you still just grasp the size of this monster? Oh, he's... he dwarfs even me, Rom. And I'm a pretty big guy, but aside from that, he's a monster like none other. He does things that is unfathomable that someone could have that much strength. It's almost demonic. It's almost otherworldly, if you want to say. And you know what's the scary part about all of this? Is that dude actually beat this monster a few years ago back at the anniversary too. I don't know how he pulled it off to be honest. Oh, he's gonna have a rough one on his hands. You know Roberto's gonna look to get some retribution from that year. Oh! Oh. Harnessing the powers of hell, Roberto. Entering the FAM anniversary ring. But dude's not intimidated at all. Look at that. He's just sitting right next to him. Dude's not gonna he's not gonna be intimidated by Roberto. And there we go. Oh man, look we're going at each other right now. Now ladies and gentlemen, I would like to remind you, I would like to stop for a second and tell you that yes, this is a rematch from Femniversary 2, but again, this is a pink slip. Now let's get a bit something specific here. These two will have the opportunity to not only win the new Cyber FM Championship, but also get the opportunity to get a pink slip and have the power to fire anybody they want, including their opponent today. That's right, the stakes have never been higher. You could walk out with the championship or you could walk out without a job. But one way or another, we're going to see the end of a, of a feud right here. It is a guarantee. And what a way to knock it right out of the park. These two in a pink slip match. And let's be honest, right now, DNA, pink slip match. Anything goes. That's why you see Lurch outside the ring as well, because the pink slip, as we all know, is hanging right above us. Just like the four Kings Thunder match, this is indeed the first one. Whoever grabs it on top will end up gaining the Cyber FAM Championship and that pink slip. Oh man, looks, dude looks like he's gonna go for the ladder already. He's gonna end this soon as possible. He does not want to take the risk of losing his FAM Championship and the job. Oh my god, belly to belly, the strength of dude, it's unbelievable. Let's take a look at that one more time. Oh, look at what that. What a beautiful over the hill. Over the hill. It's okay, DNA, it's okay, it's okay. We get excited sometimes too. I can't even speak tonight. What's going on here? I just realized. Uh, yeah, that's the same question. Did they actually just let the table stay right there because they knew they were about to use the win? Who's going up top here? Oh, off the top rope with a shoulder butt. That's gonna leave a mark. These two guys are just gonna go head to head non-stop trying to kill each other all for the grand prize. Again, not just the championship is up on the line, not just the pink slip, but also pride and retribution for Roberto as well. Oh. This is a second chance against oh. slam. Dude right here. He wants to prove that he is the monster in FAM. Oh no, 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 no. Oh man, it's gonna be a rough match between these two. It's gonna be a rough one. I'm telling you, they're gonna go all out right here. And if he goes to that table, it may be over for him. Oh, he's setting him up on the top rope here. What's he gonna do?
Wait, wait, dude is turning around. I think he just gave consciousness. Off the top of the clothesline. Dude delivering some pain. Oh my god, right through the table! Scoat slam right through the table. Dude is going able. Pun intended for all those who kept up an FAM from 2011. Suddenly, like seriously. Oh, dude, dude is definitely up his repertoire. He's not just a big guy now, he's also a big high flyer, and that's a dangerous thing to have in the ring. Roberto gonna have nothing about that. Roberto's not gonna stand for any of this. He oh, on that clothesline from a corner. Oh, look at this one more time, DNA. Can you actually believe that? Rough, rugged. It doesn't get any more hardcore. Oh, Rom, we've seen tables, we've seen ladders. The only thing we haven't seen is chairs to make this an official TLC match. Oh, man, but do you really honestly think we're actually going to need this? Like, seriously. Oh, they've already gone through enough hell already. Let's see what they got in store or else for each other. Oh, my God, oh, man. Oh, with that table right, uh, the ladder, I'm sorry, right to the face. Breaker laying him out. Roberto's gonna do a number on dude here. What's he setting up for here? Like, um, uh, oh, oh, side rush and leg sweep onto the ladder. Dude's done already. Oh my god. But, oh, and see it again. Jesus. I don't want to see that again. But can you just look? look oh. Oh. I said we didn't want to see that again, but... All right, the third time. You guys are just killing us now. Uh, and it looks like into the corner. Set him up for something here. Yeah, let's do digging. It's going up. What the? A high angle what? slam off the top of the ropes. Oh, God! Oh, God. Destroying Roberto! Oh man. Roberto's come on man, you gotta get off. You gotta make a move. Let's see that one more time, dude. Let's see. Oh, beautiful and destructive at the same time, Rom. Beautiful and destructive. Yes, strength, man. Look at that. Do not waste time, dude. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, oh no, you see! Look at that. You see! That's what I'm talking about! Playing around too much, and it cost him big time. Oh. That's one of Roberto's signatures, right? It's done. It's over. It's got to be it. It's going to put him away here. The tables have turned, literally. In this case, oh, man. Let's see if it's going to work out. Oh. Ah, he gets it. He got it that time. Looks like he's gonna go up the ladder here. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this is indeed Roberto's match to win. Unless dude gets up and actually pulverizes this monster. Come on, dude. Oh man, dude's gotta go to feet here. He's coming up the ladder. Oh, here they go. Roberto's grabbing for that briefcase, but he can't get it. These two guys are on top of the ladder. What's gonna happen next here? Back and forth. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, wait, 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 wait. No. This guy's otherworldly, Rom. He's he's demonic. He's hardcore. It's gonna take a lot more to keep him down. What else? Dude, he just got an F5 from the top of the ladder and he got up after like two seconds. Dude, what are you doing? What is he doing? I'm waiting here. No! Oh, oh, exactly. Right off the middle rope into Roberto's head and he goes down hard. Roberto should have never came right in front of his fist right there. Oh my god, ladder to the face. Let's be honest, DNA, did it actually do anything to Roberto? I don't know. I don't know. It's it, it's hard to gauge what kind of damage you have to do to this guy. And here we go with the chairs, like I called it earlier. 
It's an official TLC mask, Rom. It's pretty much it. And the narc table, uh, it's, it, look, you know, it's not like we had enough you know, destruction already, but there we go. I was gonna say construction, but who the hell cares? And, oh, they set him up on the table. What's gonna happen next? Not another one. Climb on that top rope. We're gonna see more high flying action. And up. Oh, oh he actually connected. Jeez. The leg drop through Roberto, through the table. Let's see it again one more time. Bam. He is having a go today. He's been bouncing around more than our cruiserweight. Oh, man. He must have been eating his sensu beans. He just gets right up. Look at this. Right? Can you pass one to me, actually? I'm kind of bumped up already. Oh, man. Oh, Roberto coming back out of desperation. Look at that. He's just taking out, dude, right over the top rope. Oh, man. They're taking it to the outside here. Oh no, here we go again, here we go again. Oh, oh that sick move right out on the concrete. I think we should call it the arm trap spine buster. That's actually the technical term. Oh, look at it, look at it again. Oh, that's like a mangler right there. That'll break your arms, your neck, your spine, everything. And we're not even done yet. The dude gets up like nothing happened. What do you have to do? DNA, please tell me, what do you have to do to kill these guys? This guy is superhuman, Rom. We got a superhero, hero, uh, we got a super villain going up against a super hero here. Oh, man. This is a battle of the gods. Oh, that table right in his spine. Oh, oh. man. Wait. Oh, my God. Don't reverse with a jump breaker. Got to get a tactical there, I see. Oh, to the ropes. Right, reverse and back. Overhead belly to belly. Look at that. Just everything. That monster. What a match, Rom. What a match. You gotta admit, when we deliver, we damn deliver. And give it up for these two. These two are gonna steal the show right here tonight. And, and they are. Look at that. Look at this. What's it gonna be? Backing up. What the hell is he taking? The ladder. Oh, oh my god. What the hell is that? He just crushed, dude, between that ladder and that table. Look at it. Oh. oh. I've never seen that before. I'm just look at that. I'm shocked that the table didn't break. I'm dude. I'm shocked that dude's spine didn't break. Or maybe it could. What an amazing, amazing match we got here. Hardcore by definition. And it's not over. Believe it or not, this is not even over, folks. What's he doing? Setting him up? Oh no. Nope. Dude coming back. He took too much time trying to take it from Bernard Ross, everything, to be honest. It's all instinct, in my opinion. Oh, he's, he's going all in this match. Roberto just likes to hurt people. Roberto just likes to inflict pain. He's never got another high angle slam off the top of that rope. Oh, man, dude just wants to shove it right in Roberto's face that, yes, he is the stronger monster. He is the better monster. And overall, he is the monster in FAM. Man, that, I mean, that, that move alone, that's, that's your spine, that's your ribs. The impact, it does a number on you, it, does, it takes its toll. Oh, the hard fist there, laying Roberto out. Put a chair now. Look oh, at that. Man. Oh, my God. Have a seat, Roberto. across the ring look at that how is that even possible what kind of superhuman monster is this guy this is unbelievable folks you can't get much more action than this honestly tell me where tell me where i tell you i'm almost out of breath just calling this match well, look at this ow oh, and the ladder flies across the ring it's so hard i don't care the end result, I'll be honest, both these guys are the ones in FA. I'm just too glad that they're both in FA. Look at that! Dropping that leg across his throat. Even though Roberto is with BH, and I don't respect that, I will respect that the fact that this guy has superhuman strength. He is scary, and both good and bad ways, to be honest. Oh, he's a monster. 
There's no doubt about it. He's got that chair. Wait. No dude's got him back. Set him up. Oh, nice spine buster. I think I know where dude's gonna go. He's going up for that pink slip, Rom. He wants to end this. Well, he's got the chance. He might also want to end this guy's career, let's be honest. He's got that ladder set up. It doesn't have a set up underneath the briefcase. Oh my god, that's, that's really quite a technical move from Roberto. Oh, Roberto taking out that neck. He knows he's done a lot of damage. What's he got to go here? Wait, 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 Roberto, you're not next to the contract, dude. Seriously. Wait, wait, dude getting up here. Roberto, you better make your move. Wait, look at this again. Oh, right in the neck. That put dude down, but dude's back up now. Check out, we got the ladder again. Now back on top of this ladder. Back and forth, these guys do not want to give an inch. Wait a minute, no, no. Hey, choke slam off the top of the ladder. Oh my. That's gotta be it, bro. No, yeah, no, no, yes, no, I don't know, dude. That's gotta be it. Now another table coming into play. What's up with these tables already? Didn't we see it enough? We already got one in the ring. We already seen four. Right, four? At least four tables already broken to pieces. Bodies put through them. I mean, how much more can you do? What can you do? Let's be honest. Let's take a look at this. Oh, the choke slam off the top of the ladder. If dude gets up from dead, then that just proves everyone's theory. This is, these guys are not human. Period. Again, the choke slam off the top of the ladder. And that's what kept dude down for so long. He's back up now. Finally back to his feet. Call the Mythbusters because this has just been proven right. Oh, man. I think we got enough evidence here to say that dude is one superhuman badass. But it might be done for if he connects this. Oh, oh right through the table. No, no, there's only so much superhuman or what. You're still human at the end of the day. You cannot take this, this amount, all right? You already went past this limit, but this is much, bit too much. To the outside now, and Roberto gonna follow him. Uh, hold on. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, and we got a knee breaker. Oh, DNA, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting some. Wait. Yeah, what? Oh, let's take another look. Right through this table. Yeah, we'll take a look at that. Wait. Wait. No, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Roberto coming up here. He's getting out on top of the ropes. Is it going to pay off here? I... Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see this at least first. Hold. Oh, my God. No. No way. He got it. He's got it set up here. Could he get it? F5. 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 But hold on a second. I can't believe what I'm hearing on my ear. What do you got, Rom? Come on, don't let us in. Let us in on the story. No, 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 this bull. Hold on. Oh, he's setting him up here. He's going to be an F5 right to that table. No, oh, oh my God! No, wait a minute. It's official. Wait. BH just changed. Dude's opponent. Yes, right. I don't know what the hell that means. What? Dude's opponent has changed. Wait. Wait. What the hell? What's going on? What the hell? This DNA. Devil is with BH. That's apparently so. No. We're gonna see what happens in the coming rest of the anniversary, but this is a new development. Oh, and another one. Tombstone. No, no, no. BH. BH, what have you done? Devil, what are you doing? He has soon he has truly signed a contract with the devil. Wait! Wait! It looks like he's gonna get that pink slip. Got it. No, wait a minute! For BH to pull, he just recruited. No, DNA, stop! Stop berating about this match. Well, BH just did it, Rob. He just did it. Oh, no, explain to me what happened. You cannot change. You cannot change opponents during one of the matches at the anniversary. And what the dude? And why 
Devil, run! Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, Devil now has the FAM Cyber Championship as well as the pink slip, and it's all thanks to BH. Ladies and gentlemen, when I told you that history was about to unfold, I never knew it was going to be like this. How distasteful! How... It's ridiculous what Devil has done to do! So basically, Devil is officially with BH. And he is the Cyber FAM Champion and holds a pink slip! He can fire anybody he wants! I have no idea what to say, folks, but again, we have to move on. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, it is payback time for the Mafia as the Resurgence defends their tag team titles against their arch rivals, the Mafia. Tonight, we're going to see whether the Mafia can come in and steal those tag team titles out from underneath Resurgence or whether they're going to walk out victors. Wait a minute. DNA? Oh, yeah. Let me oh yeah. What's he doing here? Biachalo, man. It's Broco the Dive! No, he's with Mr. Sigo. What's going on here? So sexy! I can't. I, I don't have any answers for you, Rom. I don't know what, what? you want me to tell you. I don't. The guy's got style. You gotta admit. Yeah. Okay, but he's not scheduled to be here. What's up? I don't know. We're gonna see within a few minutes here. As Biachalo comes strutting down the way. Up with this guy! Come on! I can't believe man. I used to work with him. Like seriously? No, no! You no. gotta love this guy. He's a great, yeah. he's a great, he's a great character. Oh yeah, oh, he is a great character. I'll give him dead, but I don't want to work with him. Well, Rom, I'd love to sit and chat, but I gotta go get a Dr. Pepper. So I'll see you later. Wait. Hey, what are you leaving me here? No, wait, did it come back? Your best friend from Italy is back, my friend! Oh my. The following contest is for the Tag Team Championship. Making their way to the ring, the team of Big Tony and Tiny Tony, the Mafia! What's the problem? Big Roman? You, 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 think, you think that I didn't miss you? I sure miss you, my friend! Why do I exist? Because then you couldn't just enjoy life without me, but now I'm here with you for a next match! And ladies and gentlemen, I'm so hyped! Your best friend from Italy is here to commentate this incredible matchup! And their opponents, the team of Dutch and Mexi, the tag team champions, the Resurgence! Look at these people! The one guy is, uh, is looks like Fonsi from Mexico, the other guy is Mr. Bean. I'm, I'm, I'm joking, 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 joking. It's Dutch and Mexi. And they are the tag team champions, right? Romy, Romy! Well, they, they haven't made a mark like the mafia did last night in the, at the hotel that we are staying with those ladies, but I guess they did. I guess they did. Oh my god. That's it. I didn't want to have to use this. Use what, Romy, baby? Oh, wait, what, what was that? Hold still, you prick! What? 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 Wow! That is a nice, sexy, big black deal we have there, Romy! No, Romy! That's a real gun! What? Come back here, you little shit! Oh, 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 he shot me! Alright, time, you get yeah, in there! You get in there and you get it! Get, get it, tiny! Hey, you nigga, I win!
like that, you bum! Get up here! I'm not done with you yet! Get him, Tiny! Get him! Take that to the head! This was the part where I was tearing his ears off at! Get into that corner! That's it! Now put him away! I'll put you away! Put him away, Tiny! Had a choke slam. Get him. Get him. DAD. Come on, Tiny. Pin him. He kicked out Tony. That's it, Tiny. Now use a headbutt. And there you go.
All right, guys, Smack Talks here, and I'm not just talking smack. I'm laying the smack down on whoever it is that stands in my way from winning this gauntlet match. You see, at Famniversary 3, six men will enter the ring, and only one will be granted the opportunity to battle for the Fam Global Championship. However, there's only one problem, because there is only one man. You see, the rest are a bunch of insecure children dreaming of one day reaching my greatness. But I'm afraid I've got some bad news, because it's time you woke up and faced reality. So don't worry, little children, because when the match begins, I'm going to feature all of you in a community showcase that no one will ever, ever forget. Jeez, can you believe it, these bums? Listen, Jim, you might not have heard of me, but I'm a Don Ramachlo. Listen, I don't want to tell you how I'm doing your job, but do not give these two idiots another title shot until they can prove to me that they are worthy of one, okay? Also, not to try not to step on anyone's toes here, but uh, they will be taking orders directly from my son, effective immediately. <laughs> This is the 101, and I am ready to take my opponents to school. Today's lesson, how to beat five other chumps in a gauntlet match at Famiversary and become the brand new Fam Global Champion. Welcome to class, this is Gaming 101, and I will see you all at Famiversary 3. Ladies and gentlemen, be prepared for the biggest and grandest event in the history of not only FAM, but the entire WWE Games community. And with that, we invite you all to take this opportunity to take part in the celebration by letting us hear your voices with the Famniversary 3 Review Competition. What that means is that we want to see you, the fans, react to the biggest event in WWE Games community history, Famniversary 3. And the one with the best review or reaction video will be granted an opportunity to participate in FAM's next pay-per-view following Famniversary 3, Cyber Fam Day. Those who wish to enter have two choices. Either you do A, a review video, or B, again, this will get you extra cool points from us all, a live reaction to the show. Upload your video onto YouTube and send us the link at xfamxhd at gmail.com or send it to us through YouTube inbox, Facebook or Twitter. The two people with the best review video or and live reaction video will be part of Cyber Fam Day. Once again, we want you to be honest in your reviews or reactions. If there are stuff you don't like or you believe should have went a different route, then by all means, speak your mind. All we want to do at the end of the day is pretty much improve the quality of our shows. Also, before anything, I just want to give a quick shout out to those reviewers that actually put the time and effort to make a Rumble review a long time ago, nine months ago when the Rumble was out. So let's get down to it. Tyrid Michaels DX, Artist of War 59, STF Tricks. Aiden Pericolo, I hope I you know pronounced your name right there, buddy. Awesome 3111, Tony Rom, Daniel Bryan, Fanplace MC, Viox Gaming HD, Mr. Six, Rally, Jazz Bob, I hope I pronounced that too correct, Kirkman726, Junior Rocks 2012, and Desmond Cruz. Guys, I love your reviews of the Rumble, and I encourage you to do another one for Famniversary, because I truly enjoyed it, and you guys were just awesome. Thank you. Also, one other thing for the Patreons that are watching this on the Patreon version, please post the reviews after the stream on YouTube. Uh, you know, I don't need to explain to you why that's very important, but you know, just pointing it out there. Thank you. So make sure.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just came back here and the Don officially revealed himself. It's Romachilo. Wait, wait a minute. And now the Mafia has to follow the orders from his son? Why are you looking at me like that, as if I know something? Rom, Rom, come on out with it! How many of you Roms are there, huh? Well, what the hell are you talking about? I gotta get the Don to chop your freaking hand off for trying to leave me here with Biachalo! So you do know something about the Don! Come on, Rom, what's going on here, and who is the Don's son? And well, ladies and gentlemen, up next, it is a rematch we've all been anticipating for a long time. The final encounter, the climactic close to this amazing trilogy. Guns versus J2F. That's right, Rom. These two have had a long history together, both facing each other twice in two previous anniversaries, and each one holding a victory over the other. But now, ever since J2F returned at the Rumble as the one known as Second Chance, he has vowed to settle the score with Guns here tonight. And there is no grittier way to settle everything with stakes this high. These two will clash one last time in an Iron Man match with the stipulation being that each fall will result in the individual being banned from competing for the World Heavyweight Championship for a year! As you said, Brom, this is going to be career suicide. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, two original FAM members going at it for the first time at Vanniversary in a last man standing. What the hell? Guns just got destroyed by J2F. How can Guns even come back from such a defeat? After a whole year of plotting, Guns has finally managed to get a rematch with J2F at Vanniversary. It's going to be another last man standing match, just like last year. Only this time the risks are higher. Loser must leave FAM. Will history repeat itself? Or will Guns come out on top, take J2F, and thus end his nightmares? Oh my god! A spear right off the stage! These guys are killing each other! And that's it! Oh my god, Guns has won this match, and thus, J2F must leave FAM! Guns has eliminated Second Chance. Whoa, 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 what? Second Chance just pulled Guns from the Rumble as well? Wait a minute! Watch out! Spear right through the barricade! What the hell is going on here? Holy! It's him! It's J2F! We are going to witness history. J2F versus Guns. The final encounter at Famniversary 3. This match is the Iron Man match. his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, second chance, J2F. And here he is, folks, the man that's going in here for a fight. Again, DNA, might I remind you, this is, if you agree with me, career suicide. These guys are insane. Oh, man, to take, that, to take that offer, I mean, a fall equaling a suspension, you got to be out of your mind. This is this absolutely career suicide in my book. No world championship, then why are you here? Exactly. The, the biggest prize in the game should be your one and only goal.
beaten his opponents at 6'1 and 240 pounds from Italy, Gun! A quick backstory, folks. These two guys have fought before at their anniversary twice. And on their anniversary two last time, Gun's was the victor. J2F was gone for God knows how long and then he came back as this cryptic, mysterious Avenger. Second chance, J2F, he made his present belt of the rubble by eliminating Guts in the most impactful of ways. Right, he came in and laid him out and then eliminated him. It was unbelievable, but right now it is going to be the final encounter between these two. The score is going to be settled right here, right now. Here we go, folks, and what the? Guns just, he just got J12 with the spear! Already? One, two. Oh, J2F just kicks out! This is war, people! Here we go now with the... Oh, with an Irish whip! Oh, he's got sending guns over the top rope with the... Oh! Oh, man! Oh. Guns coming back in with that... Flying... Body slam. Oh. Jesus, man, like I said, every fall here is going to mean the at most most important because each fall means that you are going to be out of a world championship shot for over a year. Oh, here we go again. Oh, the rope break. Now you think of the classic rivalries throughout wrestling's history. Hogan and Andre, Austin and McMahon. Stone Cold and The Rock, and don't forget the best one of the motor, Rom and Andy. <laughs> but this one may rank up there. It's a fan anniversary classic. We're going around for the third and probably final time here. I think after this, there is no going back to DNA. Let's be honest. This will end your career. This career suicide. Why are you even here if you're not going for the World Championship? And for, for them, I don't know. For, but for them, it seems like they want to go and sell the score rather than win the World Championship. And not to mention, it's a 30-man Iron Man match. Oh, you're damn right. Oh, elbow right in the back of guns. Look at that. They look at that reverse back and forth. These guys. Look. Oh, DDT. Oh, let's take another look at that. Oh, head first into the mat. Man, right on the arm. And that's a mistake by J2F. You know, he shouldn't be taunting. He should be capitalizing and pretty much ruining Guns' career. But as this is a grudge match after all, you want to make sure that the opponent has the worst career in every. Oh, my. First, sending J to him outside to the barricade. What the hell is Guns taking seriously? Oh no, no, no! Up. What's he gonna do here? Ah. Oh, he actually hit it. Caught him with that flying axe handle smash off the top rope to the outside. Look at that! Just the precision. Oh. Look at that! Like a sniper. Oh, now Guns just pounded. Pounding on J2F. Laying him out here. I think the ref's almost at a, at a tank colors there on the outside. But it's gun setting running up. up here, running up. Uh, running oh, Bulldog. Bulldog. Strategic move there by Guns. DDT. J2F so fast. Here we go for the cover. Here we go for the cover. What? He got him. He got him. Well. Oh, Guns! Guns just lost one year of World Championship, but they don't! They did for Guns! Forget about it for a year, Guns! You're not gonna get a championship shot! That's it, folks! You have no idea how drastic this is! Oh, man, he's gotta protect himself now. And at least try to seek a little bit of revenge. If he's gonna be out of the world title shot, then he doesn't want J2F to get one. Look at that one. DDT! That DDT must have been so extreme! Look at that! And that's it! It just came out of nowhere. It caught guns right out of really thin air. It, it caught me by surprise. I mean, a DDT that, that deep to pretty much lay, down, get, lay guns down for the three count and keep away from the world championship for a year DNA! 
And we're not even done yet. It's a turn of events. Yes, we got a turn of events here, Ron. Here we come. Oh, flying boot. Guns is going to have to try to get something here. He's going to have to try to at least get one up on J2F. And again, this is only the first seven minutes of the match. Just imagine. Oh, reversal by J2F. Just imagine. J2F. All right, then J2F. Johns it. Oh, he got knocked out by Guns. Guns setting up for. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's got it with the Lion Tamer. He's got him. Is J2F going to? Yes. J2F taps out. It's one to one. One year with no world title for J12 as well. What is Gun setting up for here? Oh, and J12 just got Guns with that kick. One, two, three. What? And just like that, J2F takes the lead again. Holy! Guns is not going to get a world championship shot for the next two years. What the? Did he even care? That's about. That's about the size of it, Rom. Guns is looking at about two years waiting, 24 months. How much more can he tack on? We just figured out, DNA, seriously, that this J12 just doesn't care. Like, he's here to ruin Guns' career and that's it. If he really doesn't care how much years he doesn't have against the title shot anymore, that just proves my theory. This guy just wants to make sure Guns loses everything in this career. Yeah, that seems apparent, Rom. It's all about revenge for J2F. He doesn't care about whether he gets the world title. He doesn't care about whether he could get the world title. All he cares about is ruining Gun. Gun's making J12 tap out with the Lion Tamer, but the satisfaction was short-lived as J12 caught him with a spinning wheel kick, taking the lead once again with total one. Pushing down for the three count, letting him pick up his second victory. So, uh, wait a minute, what is J12 doing? What the hell is he? Oh my God. He's got a chair. Let's take a look at that catching spinning wheel kick. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute! This is pretty much an almost qualification. Oh, and onto that chair. Guns with a comeback here. Holy spear! He got J2 with one more year. Is this it? Oh my! One more year for J2F. And it's now two to two. Oh my no. Unbelievable. Oh my. And here we go. DT on the chair. At the same time, DNA, do you really think J2F cares? No, at this at this point, at this point, Guns, he just he's done. I mean, he knows he's got two years before he can challenge for the title. So the hell with it. He might as well do as much damage right. as he can. Wait, what? What the hell is Guns doing? Setting up J2F was hung on the bottom rope. Beautiful. Let's see it one more time. I gotta tell you, that's beautiful. At this point, Gantz is a man with nothing to lose. And I gotta tell you, when Gantz is in that mood, hey, there's nobody dangerous. Look at that flying DDT. That's the same one, that could be it. Uh, he's signaling for something. He's signaling for it. What's it gonna be? Oh, that spinning kick right into the head of Gantz. It's done. It's over. One more year. That's gonna One be more it. year. That's yep. number three. One, two, three. Two years. Dude. I, seriously. Wait a minute. Oh! Chair shot! Guns doesn't care! Guns just doesn't care at this point. None of these two care. You realize that by the time that J2F can challenge for the world title, it'll be the year 2018. Right. It's left, not giving anything up here. Right. That just shows you how much these people just know each other. These two just stepped back and that's it. Guns just missed the move. He's going back now. What's he going to do? Oh, back and forth. Oh, nice. Enziguri upside of J2F's head. 
just pummeling J2F. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Look, one more time. Look, look at, at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, and Zakari. Oh, we got the table down here. What's he going to do with that table? I guess he's not going to have a Thanksgiving feast with him, but that remains to be seen what's going to happen. Oh, ooh, beautiful springboard from the outside of the apron. Coming in and landing. J2F takes guns down. Oh, right there, dropping on the back of the head, and that table right there is just luring, just waiting for somebody to go through it. I gotta tell you, man. Wait, J2F just changed his mind, and he just saw the table just glaring at him, and he had an idea, but Guns won't let any of that happen. Well, Guns has got something in mind here, throwing him into the corner. What's it gonna be? He's setting up. Oh, spinning oh. DDT of his own. Right, this could be it. Guns, hit him. Actually, I think Guns just wanna hurt him. These two just want to hurt each other. No doubt about that. Guns, oh, Guns got him into that table. Guns, for the love of God. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Spear! Spear! Right through the table on the corner! Man. Tried to cut him in half and use his body as a human blade or something. Jake the Web is probably done for. It's a sh for me, it's a shock he's even up right now unless Guns got him up. Look at that. No, man, that's a mistake by guys. You know, went for the pin. What an opportunity to go for the pin. Take it a bit. Oh, nice. And a deck breaker. A little double dealing move there. Sending up for is going to be another. Yep, another oh. kick right in stomach. On the ribs of Guns. Going to the outside. G2F. Looks like he might be looking for a weapon here. In the meantime, Gans is just waiting for him. Wait a minute! Oh, oh my god! Beautiful springboard! Nice moonsault to the outside! What are Whoa. these guys going to do to make sure they end up with the biggest and the most credible fall? Seriously! Oh, damn, look at this! Ah, oh, J2F's head off that announcer table. J2F is dazed right now. Guns, for the love of God, do not do anything yeah, stupid. Okay, too well. Oh, right! I think you know his head. Back of his head, just hit our announce table. Edge, seriously. Come on, guys. Take it back in the Six. ring. Six! Yeah, you, you know how this is all gonna end, right? Seven! Oh, uh, yeah. Ah. I got an idea. Eight. Might as well accept it. Oh, uh, wait. Guns running back in. Holy shit! He nailed it with that steel chair! Starship Pain! We haven't seen J2F do that move in ages! No! Oh my lord! Guns! This is an unsanctioned match, officially! They have officially disregarded the rules, I mean... They don't care! They, that's it, I'm done! They don't care! They're just pummeling each other! This is a brawl! That dick career! Hurting your oh opponent at this point. We still got 12 minutes, well 11 now, of pure mayhem. Oh he's, man, he's got him hooked up. Looks like he might be going for a Boston Crab. There we go. Ah, oh, he's got it in. Is he gonna make it tap? Ah, oh, rope break. Jesus, man, I'm telling you. They don't care. I got rope, I gotta say, this is one of the weirdest matches I've ever seen. A, a match where there's a rope break. A count out, but no disqualification. Well, Matt, welcome to the world of professional wrestling. Or in this case, sports entertainment. All right, what we got is some entertainment for you right here. What's J2F gonna do? Is that gonna be a suplex? Yes. Snap suplex right there. It's even more impactful than a regular suplex because they get your opponent all dazed. I must say. Oh, oh man! Oh, man! Now J12 with a comeback. What the? Oh! Guns with a catching spear. Is this it? Holy! He got him! He got him! One more year for J12! What's going on here? I have no idea.
Guns. A blind demon living a lie. J2F. A lost soul unable to fly. Both of you believe that you're redeeming yourself with this war? Is pride really the only thing you're willing to fight for? Wait, what? What? The? What was that? Uh, we apologize, folks. Uh, we're back, I guess. Uh, what the? Setting up for us. Uh... Oh my god, he hit it! A super arm drag from the top rope on the steel step. Oh, and he bounced off that steel step with his shoulder. That might have grazed. Don't know what it did. Dislocated his shoulder, definitely. I think Guns just might as well just pin J2 of as many times as he wants oh, because man. without the shoulder, you can't kick out. It's a good thing that oh, FAM rented out a whole level of the local hospital because we're going to need it after these matches. Jeez. Yeah, throw for the Irish ship again. What the hell are they gonna do now? What the hell? Oh my god, Flapjack! Dina isn't me around here. Oh, I'm, I'm just speechless. I think it's just me, isn't it? Action for action. And another suplex. No! Thorn oh. Buster! Wait a Jeez. Total mayhem. And we're down, we're almost down to the last five minutes here, Ron. We got about... Spear! 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 One more fall! One more fall! One, two... And that's it. One more year for J2F again! It's not like... What the hell is Kazi? We gotta follow it? Catching spinning kill! Two! And that's another year! I'm done, DNA! I'm done! I can't. These guys' career is over! I, these guys wanna kill each other! This is pretty much their last match! What else? Why am I here? I just called everything! I just called the past, present, and future! It's, there's nothing else to say! Look at this! Oh, from the top! These guys are just destroying each other here in the ring! And he's going for another cover! One! No! They must have eaten their Wheaties and the steroids that came with them because they are going to fall out. Spears! Catching Spears! God! Why? Why? Just keeps going. You do realize that we are seeing the demise of each other's careers. This is over. Personal Vendetta has killed these guys' career. Pretty much. The end. Done. You might as well just count them out. They're done. And this is Guns' version of the catching finisher. And this is what actually gave why. This what? I can't I lost count! How many years? They're I think they're both up to at least six years now. Seven years. My god. Jeez. What much what more, what more can you say, man? It's it's a 30 minute Iron Man match. They've been laying it all on the line right here. And for what? I mean, what are you really laying it out for? You're putting your career. You're putting it through the ringer. It's over. It's over for you. But your only goal in this match is to take out your opponent and make sure his career goes out with you. Damn. It's over. Oh, my God, DNA. What a catastrophe. Pure mayhem. And we just got over a minute left. Oh man, these two guys have been going head to head, toe to toe, taking it to each other in the worst ways. Oh my! Guns out here in front of us now. What else can they do? Like seriously, they have... Yeah, they have less than a minute left. Oh wait a minute, Guns reversed that slap at the J2F. Uh, oh. Yep, putting him through... Oh no, no, not again. Into the announcer's table. Laying him on the table here, what's he gonna do? Okay, look, please get out of the way. Oh no, what else got? Guns. Guns, no! Ah, uh, Guns has got some sadistic thoughts. He's gonna fly! No! Ah! Guns just destroyed Chain to F right in front of us! I don't know what to say, Rob. This is intense. Right? Dude, there's only 20 seconds left! 
This is it. Oh, man. He looks like he's going to put the coup de grace on him here. Oh, he's setting up for that spear. One more. One more year. years with no more championship and J2F has five but does that really make a difference yeah by that time I mean you know you might as well just call it a day how do you even return from that but what a phenomenal match Rob at the end of the day at the end of the day I'll be honest dude this was all about pride and who was the one on top J2F so at the end of the day folks J2F got the he got the least he got the uh, least number of falls, but... It's not even just that. It's the fact that he was the last one. He's the last man standing. In my, op in, in my opinion, they're both winners and they're both losers. I'll tell you why. Winners, because they put out one hell of a performance. You can't doubt that. But losers, because if you don't have... I mean, seriously, you're happy that you don't get to challenge for the top biggest prize of the game in, the, in half a decade? So J2F, you're the victor, but that is irrelevant. You both have destroyed your path to the mountain top. Now, the only path there is left for both of you is the path to eternal damnation. Prepare yourself for the end. WWE Games Community. We meet again. I have but one request. Get hyped. You want class? Well, you're looking at it. Dashing Dale Zinsky. You know, you can't teach greatness. It's either something you're born with, like me, or you're not, like you. And this right here is simply well refined. Now, in the six man gauntlet match at Famiversary, I'm gonna show everybody what greatness is all about and I will be your global champion I'm gonna make history make way Famiversary 3 make way for the dashing one because dashing Delzinski is here wait a minute let's rephrase that the great one is here greatness is here that's right Dashing Delzinski is here.
We are back here in the Mercedes Dome and from what we just saw, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we just saw two people literally end their careers. Guns and J2F are... They put on one of a performance. Their feud officially is done, but it's not just that that's over. Their careers, they will never, ever go for a world championship for the next half a decade. That is the type of hype, that is the type of intensity you would only see right here at Fenniversary. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot more history to officially cover right here tonight. And here we are folks, we go from career suicide to regular suicide, we hope that you're committing to it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the YouTubers gauntlet match is about to happen next. Who will become the number one contender for the Global Championship and face the Narcomus right here tonight? Well, it's gonna be a hell of a match here, Ron. We got six competitors all going for that Global Championship, and here we're gonna kick it things off. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the six-man YouTubers gauntlet match. Making his way to the ring first, 101 Gaming. 101 first made his FAM presence felt back at the Rumble, where he, I'll be honest, actually had the biggest balls out of the YouTubers and went after not only Dude, but also FAM's actually betrayals monster, Roberto. You gotta give kudos, this guy probably is the bravest one of the bunch right here tonight. Oh, he definitely stepped up to the plate, Rom, no doubt about that. You gotta get the, 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 the credit where the devil is due. And his opponents, he is C. M. Puma. Probably the craziest guy out of the six YouTubers, actually out of the eight YouTubers that are com that actually competed here tonight at the anniversary. I can't grasp this guy. This guy was so crazy that at the Rumble, I'm sorry, putting back at the Rumble, this guy eliminated himself to eliminate Mafta just so he could better, better get a sweet bit of revenge. He doesn't care about the championship, but right now I think his philosophy has changed. He's going up the global championship and he's going to do whatever it takes to grab that title right here tonight. See him Puma looking impressive here. We're going to see what he can do against 101 Gaming. I think it's going to be a hell of a match, Rom. And I cannot wait for this to begin. And it's going to be very interesting. These two have never fought to begin with this. Holy! Oh! Going for the spear right off the bat, and it got reversed. That's to show you, like I said, CM Puma, his, he has a door style. That means he's very tactical, he's very quick. And quite honestly, he has a speed advantage over 101 Gaming. 101 Gaming is more of a, you know, brawler type. Holy! Oh. Insane! There's nothing yeah, more but I can you say. gotta remember something here, Rom. Don't forget that this is a gauntlet match. And your ability to maintain your body, the ability to not get hurt for long periods of time so that you can run through multiple opponents is very key to winning this match. And that luchador style takes a toll on your body. No, you're damn right. That's a very good point, DNA. Actually, if I were CM Puma, I would actually take your advice right now and keep on ground. Because except right now, 101 is putting him on the ground. And I don't think CM Puma is going to enjoy that preference. Well, CM Puma here, reversing. Oh! oh. oh. Is Lightning 101 Gaming with a big reversal there on the apron. And just as quick as Puma running outside to the ring getting a breather. Look at that! Oh. Aerial knee drop right on the shoulders of 101 Gaming and Puma going up. Like I said, it's not very smart to go high this early, but look at that! You can potentially eliminate opponents quicker by using that style, but it also takes a toll on your body. You have to find that median. You have to work a little bit of ground and a little bit of aerial. Right. You can you can either eliminate your opponents or you can eliminate yourself. It's not a pretty good situation. Ooh, beautiful DDT from that middle rope, swinging around and planting it. Here we go. This could be it. No, oh, only a two count. Oh, this with the punch there. Oh, oh no. Back and forth here. No! Oh! oh! These guys are not going to get ninja. No! Oh! Rocker dropper dropping him on the ground. Face into the mat. I didn't know if 101 had this kind of agility with him, but my god. Go for the pin. One. Oh, you only got a one there. 
I think uh, right now you're right, DNA. I think the aerial offense just took its toll on Siabuma. I think he has already reached his limit, unfortunately. Look at that. Elbows. Elbows. I mean, it's, it, it's you're double dealing your damage. I mean, from the, the damage he's taken from 101 Gaming, not to mention the damage he's taken from all the high flops. No! Oh, wait, the ref's up! The ref's up! Uh, I don't like this predicament, though. Oh, he looks like he's gonna capitalize here. Oh, wait. Oh, no! He got a sledgehammer! He got a sledgehammer! Oh! oh the back! The ref didn't see it! The ref didn't see it! No! My god, no, that's gotta... That has to have damaged severely the back of 101 Gaming. Definitely. Puma's the upper advantage, regardless. You can definitely say that 101 Gaming may not make the end of this match. Oh, definitely. That right there could be the key factor. But I'm surprised right now to tell you that 101 is on top and Puma's on the ground. And just 30 seconds ago... Holy, no, wait a minute! Let's get him set up here. What's he going for? What's it gonna be? Oh, wait! Oh! Reversal! Into a series of moves and... See if Puma is taking advantage. This gets close line. That hard close line from CM Puma just put 101 gaming down and he's gotten him back up. Uh oh. Oh wait, he's taunting. Not a good idea. No, not a good idea. Oh. And he paid for it. Power slam. Laying it out. Just like that, Puma is out of here. Guess what you get for Tonic in this big stake situation? You gotta take care of business, Ron. The next contestant in this match, Tom Kushni. The third participant to enter this gauntlet match, possibly. Really, this guy has the upper hand during this situation because he is the freshest. And honestly, even though the match wasn't that long to begin with, that sledgehammer to the back of 101 Gaming should be able to help Kushni take advantage. Kushni's got the big advantage here of being a fresh guy. Right. Especially up against a hurt 101 Gaming. A lot of high oh. impact moves plus that sledgehammer. But he's gonna have to go in there and do it, Ron. He's just gonna have to go in there and do it. Try to put up a shot up at all. Oh, because oh, you, you know that 101 Gaming, even hurt, he's not going to stay down. No, not at he's all. He's going to keep getting back up. And but until the situation finally concludes, I think we can all safely assume that Tom Kushner here is the one, is the favorite. Oh, wait, or oh, maybe not. Look at that. Well, 101 Gaming making this comeback here. Oh. Hip attack, and we back in. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Kushner. And he got him! And Todd Kushney is eliminated! 101 Gaming! Oh! The next opponent in this match, Grimm's Toy Show! It perfectly clear to everybody that he was pretty much pissed off that he wasn't in the FM Royal Rumble. But tonight, he has a chance to shine. He has a chance to prove to everybody that he is the best amongst all these YouTubers and amongst everybody in FM. Wait a minute! Uh, uh, nailed it! And he puts it down! They nailed it! Uh, and just like that, Tom Kushner is out! As you please, Tom Kushney has been eliminated by Grimm's Toy Show. Their next opponent, Del Zinski. You know, it would have been pretty obvious to assume that Del Zinski would have the upper advantage since he is the last one to enter, but Grimm's Toy Show just eliminated Tom Kushney in a second. So I'm pretty sure Tom, uh, Grimm's Toy Show is pretty much fresh as he already came up. But this is going to be two fresh guys here in the middle of the ring, Rom. Definitely, you're right about that. Neither one of them taking damage yet until, the, you know, they got in the ring. And look at that, Del Sinski, the host of We Talk, the voice of the community, as he so likes to pronounce himself, is taking advantage and pounding on the glasses, I assume, of Grimm's Toy Show. Look at that, one more time, back body drop. Back body drop. And now, Del Zinski going up. What's he going for here? To the nice high fly maneuver. Oh! Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, with a forearm. Grimm's Toy Show is not gonna let down by any chance. Oh! Beautiful 
beautiful. They're going to come back here with that beautiful power slam. You know, Grim's toy show is the most small guy. He has as much power. He's the most powerful guy in this competition to begin with. Don't be judged by his look. He may look insane, but I got to tell you, right now he's all business. Oh, driving that knee into the back of Delzinski. That's some uh, scary business to give him. He's the YouTube figure's heavyweight champion, but right now he's making an action figure oh. doll out of Delzinski. Oh no, no, no. Brim is going up. Oh no, he's gonna fly! Oh! Second time's the charm. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh man, on the legs. That is definitely, that is definitely no child's play right there. Right, he might have crushed Delsinski's legs with that all that weight coming right on. Oh. Delsinski somehow trying to make a comeback here. He might manage. Oh. Any one of those strikes to the knee. Oh. Oh, Delzinski right now. This is one of his flaws. He's showing up when he should be showing up. Just like that. Oh, man. He's making sure Grim Toy Show stays down, apparently. Delzinski taking it to Grim. Things are starting to look grim for Grim. <laughs> right? Oh, this could be it for Grim. Only a two count there. Oh, 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 oh. they caught him. No! Chris Toy Show caught Delzinski running and landed him with a side slam. Oh, nice elbow drop. The power advantage, that's what it gets you, dude. Oh, wait a minute, Delzinski. Oh, he's back here. Ah, oh, he's pissed. Oh, yes, he's coming back. Oh, no, down. Oh, reversal in an instant. Grim's Toy Show takes advantage and he may take this match. Oh! Bulldog DDT. What the hell is Grim setting up for here? Wait a minute. Going to the ropes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh, and he got him! How is that even possible? What? Oh, and here he is, folks. The last participant. And we all know who it is. And the final contestant in this match, Smack Talks. How lucky is Smack Talks? We chose him to be the last one to enter this concert after the hell that they have already been through, meaning Grim's Toy Show. Grim's Toy Show took a he took a hell of a beating. Oh, look at that! But is it going to be enough for the big man? Oh, wait a minute! Grim's up. Oh, Drop it by the big guy. Oh no! Yeah, what's it gonna be? Hurricane Rana from the top rope! Grim's Toy Show is laying in Smack Talks out right here. Oh, wait a minute! A comeback! It's gotta be over right here. Setting him up. Oh, dropping him. Oh, oh DDT! That forward DDT. Grim's Toy Show's got this all wrapped up. It's over. It's gotta be over. <laughs> It's done! Oh, what? Somehow, subway, look at this. Front four, DDT, ow! Driving his head into the mat. Can you believe this, DNA? It is the YouTube Figures Heavyweight Champion versus the host of Community Showcase. Only at FAM will you ever see this type of insanity. Oh, no. Oh, man, he's going up. He's going to fly again. Wait, who's going to be here? Graham is just loving it. He's enjoying the moment, and right now he needs to put his focus back on. Yeah, and right there. Big boot. It's over. He's got him right where he wants him. Graham's gonna take it. He's gonna finish it right here. Ryan setting up for that nailed it finisher, maybe. He's trying to give him the business. Yeah, and it is nailed it. Giving him the plate. Wait. Oh! oh. Hurricane Rana of his own. Man. Monster Corkscrew, I don't know what the hell you call that thing. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Going up. He's going up now. Smack Talks. What? What's he? Oh! My God! What was that? That's it! One, two, three. And it's over! And that's it! 
Smackbox has just advanced to the finals of the Global Championship where he will fight Anarchimus for that prestigious title here tonight. My God! He wants it, he's got it done! Anarchimus is not going to be able to defeat this man. You saw how wonderfully he went out there. Look at this! Are you not impressed? He's got it won. He's got it won, Rom. I'm calling it now. He's got it won. And you know why? Because of, because of moves like that, of pure beauty. Anarchimus, just don't even show up. Anarchimus, you've got your hand full tonight. Congratulations, Smack Talks. And ladies and gentlemen, we will see this match later on tonight. Congratulations, Smack Talks. Honestly, you impressed the hell out of me, man. What a night this has been, DNA. What a night indeed. So what's this all about exactly? I've been hearing at Famniversary 3 there's going to be a gauntlet match between six YouTubers where the winner goes on to fight for the Fam Global Championship in that very same night? Now that, you know, that sounds interesting. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are interested in also, but there seems to be one detail missing. I'm not in it. I am the king of the WWE games, and I'm sitting here without a phone call from FAM, and I'm not allowed to participate for the FAM Global Championship. No, no, see, no, no, that's unacceptable. And I'm not the only one that feels this way, so if you think I'm sitting here spouting my own bullshit, you're wrong. A special friend of mine agrees with me as well, and believe me, we will be at Famniversary, and we will make our presence felt, and believe me, even more when I tell you, you're not going to want to miss this event because not only are we going to be there, we are going to be the ones that you remember by the end of it. For years, FAM has been entertaining you all, and we've enjoyed doing it as much as you've enjoyed it. Now, as we continue we look to bring you more than ever before. We would like to introduce to you our new platform. FAM is now on Patreon. This is a new way for our viewers to experience FAM and its new exclusive content. Gain exclusive access to FAM superstars. Join our official podcast. Gain exclusive access to shows and pay-per-views early. Yes. This means you will be able to watch our shows and pay-per-views two weeks before they're live on YouTube. You can have these rewards and more for a donation as little as one dollar. Remember, we will still upload our content on YouTube. We are not going anywhere. This is your choice on whether you want to help us by donating or not. But by donating, you're going to get exclusive content, special rewards, and early access to FAM pay-per-views. With your support through donations, Anything is possible. Remember, we'll continue to entertain you with our shows on YouTube, but with your support, we can do more. You can find FAM on Patreon by simply typing patreon.com slash FAM or just go on the link below. So come join us on Patreon and be ready to experience FAM on a whole new, new level. level. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at Femniversary and what an extraordinary night this has been so far. Limitless history has been already written down. Blood, sweat and tears, all of those has been poured from every FAM superstar tonight. But no other match will shed more of those than what's coming up next. History will indeed be made between these two, but this time it's going to be carved in blood as Ron Buster will finally go head to head against his arch rival and former brother Black Heron inside Hell in a Cell. Two of the original members in FAM, the two leaders who pioneered FAM into this generation, once brothers, until Black Heron pulled the trigger and spilled Rom's blood for full power over FAM. Six years of friendship 
six years of history, all shattered for Rom, and now he is looking to end all of it night inside Devil's structure and lay this entire nightmare to rest. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to FAM Raw. wins the Tag Team Championship for SES. The Crossface! Yes, BH wins. BH is the FAM New World Heavyweight Champion. Wait, what? What's going on here? BH! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have to report that Andy Badwell has officially left FAM for unknown reasons, leaving Black Heron to name a new co-leader for FAM. This is some breaking news. Black Heron just named Ron Buster as one of the new leaders of FAM. Out of all these fools in FAM, Rom is the only one that is different, and is the only one with a vision. Now that he has rid himself of Andy, I have no problem making him leader. Whether you like him or you hate him, Rom has officially revolutionized the SES. What? What's going on here? Don't tell me the Skill Foundation has joined VH. It's Andy! You've gotta wonder how happy Rom must be to see his old mentor back in FAM. What the hell did Rom just do? Andy was never my friend. He went away and left me hanging with nowhere else to go. While BH on the other hand, he gave me a new road. He gave me the path to lead FAM. He taught me to stop living in the past and to start being myself. Essentially, he showed me the light. He's my best friend. He's my only friend. Whoever is his enemy, <laughs> I'm their enemy as well. With Merc winning the Rumble and heading off to face BH, Rom will go one on one with his former mentor, Andy Badwell. Me and Rom are united. We are not afraid of anything. At the anniversary, we'll fight. We will bleed and we will defeat our enemies together. There is no stopping us. Super GTS! That's it! Andy Badwell has defeated his own pupil at Famniversary! Twisted reaction! Oh my god! Merc has done it! Merc has taken the world title from BH. Ladies and gentlemen, FAM has taken a major blow. We've lost all our hard work. Half our members, including our world champion, have left us. All of a sudden, you know, FAM is now being viewed as this evil, dark, corporate place and everyone inside it is, you know, miserable. And the worst part is that I have lost my best friend. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it is with deep regret that I announce that as of this moment, Andy and Black Heron have decided to step out of FAM. Andy, even though we've had our differences, you are a founder of FAM, and for that, I respect you. 
MBH. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is you have planned, but I miss you, dude. As I now begin carrying FAM on my shoulders, I am waiting for the day me and you both meet up once again. Until then, I promise to rebuild FAM stronger than ever. That is not just a promise, that is a vow. But until that day, Godspeed, my friend. Merc, I'll be damned if I let you come back to FAM with power after what you did to all of us. You want power? You're going to have to go through me. The two biggest faces in FAM history are to clash with everything on the line. The victor will not only receive the ultimate bragging rights, but he will also be granted all of the power in FAM. It's over! Rom has taken out 2TM, and with that, he has become the undisputed leader of FAM. Wait, wait! Is, is that an Andy? Andy Bagwell? Oh my god! What the hell is going on? Andy back, but why? What's his purpose? With Andy's unexpected return and intentions still hidden, Rom wants answers. So he has challenged his former mentor to a Famniversary rematch here tonight. Oh my god, Rom did it! He did it! He finally beat Andy. Rom has silenced his critics. What is Andy doing? Oh Jesus! Rom is helpless. What is this? Who, who is that? Don't tell me it. It's Black Harem. BH is here. The former world champion. And he's come to get him some of Andy. This is a dream come true. We all know Rom has wished for this day. Wait, what? What's going on? BH and Andy are attacking Rom. Well, this is how it is. Andy and BH are now working together. BH has backstabbed his best friend, the ultimate form of betrayal. How much pain both physically and emotionally must Rom be going through right now? Rom, you wanted to see me in the FAM again. Well, here I am. And I'm so embarrassed to see what has become of it. What you have done to FAM is unforgivable. You have ruined what me and Andy have created. You filled it with nothing but dirt. You used the power I'd given you to corrupt our empire. And what hurts me the most is that it was all my fault. I was blind enough to place my trust in you. I was the one that gave you the ability to ruin everything me and Andy have stood for. Me and Andy are here to take back what's ours and take out the can that you brought in. So this is the real UBH? You bring people up and pretend to be their friend, their brother, and so at the end, you take everything away from them? Well, congratulations, BH. Not only did you manage to shatter my spirit, you also shattered my heart. BH, you know me better than anyone else. And if there's one thing I can stand, it's when someone questions my passion for FAM. Even with a broken body and with a broken soul, I will not let you break FAM. If you want your precious leadership back, then you're going to have to take it from me. The most important match in FAM history, Von Buster and his partner Killswitch versus Betrayal. If Betrayal wins, then they will have total control of FAM while Rom, while Rom will be stripped from leadership. Rom's gonna do it! He's about to beat Betrayal! Wait, what? What's going on here? Oh my god! What is this? No, BH, don't do this, no! Oh my god, BH just pinned Rom. Betrayal is now in power. Rom has given his blood, his sweat, his tears, he has given his whole life to FAM. And all of that now has been taken away from him by BH. With Rom being gone, we can now start the healing process of FAM. We're going to take out all the remaining trash and purify this place, once and for all. This is ridiculous. Betrayal is destroying everyone and taking everything in fam. This isn't a cure. This is nothing but a damn takeover. Oh my 
my god! No way! It, it's him! BH looks like as if he's seen a ghost! It's Wombuster! How can he be back after all BH did to him? Yes! Yes! Rom just eliminated BH! BH's plan is ruined! Rom is looking to destroy BH and save Fam from his corrupted insanity. Rom, I crushed your body. I tore your heart apart. I took your spirit. I ended your existence. So, how are you here? Why? Why are you here? Answer me, Rom! How dare you, BH, to even have the audacity to call your stable betrayal, when the only person who has experienced true betrayal is me. I remember everything, BH. The Skilled Foundation, the SCS. I treasured those moments we had together. I treasured the bond we had. But then, you pulled the trigger. Just like that, you stabbed me in the back for power. Why did you do it, BH? Answer me! Since the day happened, the day when we lost everything and almost everyone, when Merc stabbed everyone in the back and left us hanging high and dry, and then you, you left him and every trailer back in FAM. You said it yourself, BH. Almost everyone. I was still here. True, loyal and faithful members were here as well. And together, we rebuilt FAM and secured a future for all of us. And you, you came back with the intent of destroying their livelihood because you think they're not strong enough? They have stuck with us through the worst of times. They have shown the strength of their dedication to FAM and they deserve to be here. Once you saw FAM coming back from the pit it fell in, you seized the power that controlled the flame that me and the members had reignited. And then you did it. You finally executed my spirit at Survivor Series and took everything from me. I hope it was all worth it, BH. I hope that for you, the rewards for trading blood for money were more valuable than this brotherhood. And I do hope you treasured these last few months in FAM, because all of this will end at Femniversary. And it will end inside hell in a cell. You think I did it just for power? Just like you, I did what I had to do for FAM. Yes, I pulled the trigger at you. Yes, I wanted power. I wanted to take your leadership. Because it was up to me to set everything right. I may look like a demon, but that doesn't mean that I'm not human. Right now, I'm feeling pain. You have no idea how much it hurts to be accused and judged because you want to do whatever it takes to protect what you love, to be seen as a traitor by the people that you help make. Everyone thinks that you're here in the story, and that's why a Femniversary that will not be a happy ending. Rom, a Femniversary will finish this, and I will finally put away my inner demons once and for all. With everything I've been through because of this, hell seems like the perfect place to lay both of us to rest. No in at all. The following contest is the Hell in a Cell match. his way to the ring. At 120 kilos from Vatican City, he is the leader of betrayal, Black Harris!
from the Isle of Malta, the Maltese mastermind, Rom Buster! Finally, we have arrived, folks. It all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go! Here we go! It's about to go down it! Wait a minute. And it's over, Ron. BH is leaving the ring, having won a victory well deserved. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Get him, Ron! There we go! Oh, Ron coming up the ramp. He's not gonna let BH walk out of here. And why would he? This is six years in the making. You think BH is gonna get away from this just like that? He's not gonna run away from this fight. Why would he? Because it's career suicide to go up against BH in a match like this. I'm referring to BH, you idiot! Here we go, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh! Rom hits him with the X-ray, one of his new signatures! It's all about to happen, DNA! Here comes the cell, the devil's favorite playground, the devil's favorite structure! It's all about to end! Come on, man! We're about to witness the end of six years of the making! We're about to witness the end of Ron Buster's career! I don't think so. I don't think so. And time has just stopped, DNA. We're inside. Devil's favorite structure. Oh, there's some kind of energy going on between them, Rom. And here we go! Oh, yes! He got with a spine buster. NBH rolls out. He's just taking a moment to get a minute to catch his breath. He's used the strategy here. And now he's got to take those steel steps to Rom. Oh! oh, my God! Oh, my God! Just watching it. Rom just slingshot his own body into BH and he actually landed on those steel steps. He may have hurt himself more than he hurt BH there, Rom. Oh my god, look at that. What will Rom do to actually hurt BH? What will BH do to actually hurt Rom? I gotta imagine both these guys, they got no, no boundaries. There's no way they're gonna hold back on each other. Oh my god. Oh. BH now going to work on Rom. We're about to hot a minute into this match, and the cell is already being used like, like as, to its fullest. Seriously, that's that's the way you play a, a match like this, Ron. That's the way you win one. You use the cage as your weapon. It's the biggest weapon around you. The H has more than a cell as his weapon. He also has the strength advantage. I will give him death. Let's take a look over the top by Ron, but he may have hurt himself in the process. Oh yes! Oh, that's gonna leave a mark right there. Get him, Ron. Pound him, make sure he bleeds tonight, man. He deserves it. Come on, BH. You gotta maintain. You gotta focus. There we go, tossing him back in the ring. He'll be back in a minute. He's just luring Rom into a false sense of security here. I can definitely tell. Right, of course. Oh, uh, BH is gonna put the mud hole stomping on him here in a minute. Stepping over Rome like that, like it was a piece of trash. Mind you, these guys were brothers. These guys have had the most personal history in FAM because they were close together. Don't forget, Rom, your biggest opponent in life is your brother. You're competing with him to be the alpha male of the litter. It's not just about the alpha male, dude. These guys had... This is... These guys represent FAM. These guys made FAM together along with Andy, and now it all comes down to this. We're seeing what we're seeing something 
Gonna end here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, BH went to spray that red liquid and Rom just reversed him. Rom setting up BH. Hopefully for the sleepy pill. Gonna be over already. Got him up. And BH reverses using some of that technical brilliance. God damn it. Oh, Rom's in a bad way here. It could be over right here. He's gonna set him up to finish him off. Wait a minute, what the hell is BH setting up for? Oh no. Picking him up. And... Oh! Jackhammer. Laying him out. No. No, 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 no. He's got him where he wants him. He's going in for the kill. Nope. Yes! Throw reverses! Oh, BH is in the corner. No, oh, somebody... Into the other corner. There we go. There we go. Pound him. Pound him. Pound him! Don't let him do this to you. Get up. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is from? No, no, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way! Coast to coast. Rob came off the top and delivered a drop kick of perfection. Oh, Tiger Driver, he's getting down for the pin. Man, not even a two count. See, not even a one count, as a matter of fact. I'm telling you, that is the, that is the, the absolute perfection of BH. He is an alpha male. He is Adonis. At this point, the Adonis is getting obliterated by Rum. What do you got to say about that? It's only, a, it's only a momentary lapse. He'll be right back in it just like that. Look at this. Right him in the corner and start wearing him out. Beat him like a red-headed stepchild, BH. Alright, that German suplex picking up Rom like he was nothing. Again, the power edge does go to BH. I'll be honest. Even though BH has the... Oh my god, no. No, man, look at that. The strength of BH. Beautiful slam. Beautiful. Absolutely perfect. BH just wants to show you the promise. He just wants to show you what FAM could be. He wants to show you his vision. Why can't you get behind that? His vision resulted to basically destroying everyone in the FAM roster, taking away their titles, and pretty much giving all the glory to him. That's the vision. Sometimes, Rom, to be a good leader, you have to take down those who might oppose you. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The multi's up. We're setting up for it. He's setting him up for this big move here. Wait a minute. Oh, no, BH is up. BH is back up in with a clothesline. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was brilliant. Beautiful. Oh, my. Into the corner here. He's got him set up. You got to imagine he's running off some kind of running knee drop. Oh, yeah. That was it. That's the stuff. Rob's getting beaten down now like a government mule, as JR would say. And Rom not going down so easily. Oh, Rom back up. Oh! Yes, oh. not even a one second of rest he's going to give to BH. Oh my god! Not even a moment's rest. Rom sacrifices. He is willing to sacrifice his own body. There we go. Oh, pushing BH's beautiful face into that cell. That should be considered a crime, Rom. I want the cops down here immediately. Speaking of cops, Rom is going to... He's been assaulting BH non-stop during this match. Now he has a baseball bat. Oh, man. Rom taking it to BH with that baseball bat. Of course, he has to use a weapon to get one over on the greatness. Tide has turned just like that. Ah, oh, he's got him up. What's it gonna be? Oh, gut buster. Oh, man. What a harsh move. What a, a move that can break your abdomen, can tear you apart. Oh. Now going to work with that bat. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, man. Off that cell and down to the floor. We promised the fans a phenomenal match here, Rom, and what we're seeing so far is only the tip of the iceberg, I think. 
This was going to be hell as promised, and we are delivering it. Oh, no, no, both of these guys. Uh, dueling weapons here, Ron. Dueling weapons. Who's going to get it first? It's like a joust. The stare down and... Oh, oh yes! Damn, damn! B.H. just got nailed with those steel steps. Rom acting like Clint Eastwood just won the Texas showdown. Oh, and oh no! Right into that. Oh, again, into that corner, into that pole. You can hear Rom's cranium just being smashed right there, seriously. Oh, I'm throwing him to the cell here. Oh, Rom coming back. There we go. Kick right in the abdomen of the so called Messiah of the age. There we go. Make sure. Prove DNA wrong here, please. This guy's no Messiah. This guy is just a dictator. Nothing more, nothing less. You know, Rom, you're a little too critical, I think. If you just believe, if you just believe in BH, then he will show you the truth. Shut up. Shut up for just a minute, will you? And now BH is delivering justice to Rom. No, 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 only a two there. I thought he was gonna finish that with that sunset over. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, man. Wrong person with the. Oh, my God. He's still talking about the strength. That's a hell of a sidewalk slam there. And Rob going up to the top now. Is he gonna do it? Yes. He connects that splash. Rom is willing to do whatever it takes to put BH down once and for all. And this could only mean pure epicness for FAM if he manages to take him out once and for all. BH setting up here, got him in the corner. Oh, Rob reversed! Oh. Yeah, I'm not for nothing. Rob Buster is so quick. Oh, man. Man, what a body splash into it. Oh, nice combination of moves by Rob Buster. Doing whatever it takes. And speaking of that situation, here comes the sleeping pill. It's over, DNA. Where's your messiah now? No, nope, not today. No. No, 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 no. Man. That might be over here. One, two. Halt. Come on, ref. You got arthritis in your shoulder or something? Look at this. Beautiful. And then only the two count. Can you believe it? I don't want to believe anything right now. I just want BH to go down once and for all. Well, what you should believe in, Rom, is the power of BH. Oh, Jesus Christ! Holy sh... He got tossed and hung out on the ropes, no doubt. Let's take another look at that. Oh! Pump handle toss and landed him on the ropes. But he's talking in higher volumes right now. Here we go. One, two. I am witnessing a nightmare. Wake me up from this dream, DNA. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, uh, here he goes. He might get back. Here. Nope. Once again. No! You talk about when Gus and J. Twift know each other like the back of their hand. These guys know each other more than anybody. Eh? Oh, man. They know each other any better if they were Siamese twins, Rom. You're not lying about that. Uh, Yes, run reverses into it. X-ray! X-ray! He's got it now, DNA. We gotta see you, Rom. He hasn't gotten he's 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 been reversed on all of his finishers so far. Not this one. Rom is going go for the sleepy pull. It got a reversal! Damn it, damn it, damn it! No, 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 Black and gold, but no, no. Yes! Yes! Somehow, some way, Rom managed to reach deep down inside himself and pull out that last ember of fire inside and kick out at two. Wait a minute. Get him reversed here. 
Reversal into eight. Picking him up. Might be the sleeping pill. He might get it this time. He got the him. Sleeping pill. He got him. It's over, DNA. It's over. It's over. You've got to be kidding me. And the Messiah rises after two days. You've got to be kidding me. Let's take a look at that. Rom got him reversed here. Spins him around, grabs him for the sleeping pill, and delivers it. You've got to be kidding me. How the hell did BH kick out of death? Look at that. Oh! Nice. What the hell is BH setting up for here? Oh, no. Oh, he's setting him up. Setting him up here. Looks like he's going for that clothesline. Super X-ray! He got him! Are you kidding? He still kicks out! Shut up, DNA! What the hell is this guy taking? The man, the man is unbreakable, Rom. You just gotta learn to accept that. No, no, no. Picks him up here. Oh, oh into that corner. Black and gold power bomb on that goal. No, 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 not the reality check. The reality check. Oh, no. It's done. It's done. He's just, as he's delaying the inevitable. Rom might as well just lay down at this point. Oh, wait! Wait, wait, wait! No! Wait, 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 wait! What? That's the vintage black and gold power bomb, the original version! What the hell? Just incredible! BH, you gotta do it, man. You gotta finish this. Man, Rom will never give up, oh, man. And oh. BH is putting him down. BH is irate. Oh, man, he's lifting him up. One for the money. Not a power bomb. Oh, no, it's done now for sure. I'm sorry. Yes! Somehow, some way. Oh. BH is irate. Rom has kicked out the four power bombs from BH himself. No matter what BH seems to do to him, Rom seems to still come back. And you look, he hit him right here, the reversal, and into that vintage black and gold power bomb. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I think BH just broke Rom's glasses. Holy crap. Oh man, Rom glassesless now. Man, the viciousness behind those punches from VH. And I think VH has done this, honestly. Wait a minute! Oh! Catching him in midair! Rob's got him! Could he get it? Oh! GTS! GTS! It's done! Yes! Go. And VH still manages to kick out! It's gonna be... What? What can Rob do to put this guy down? Oh, Rom setting him up here off the shoulder. Oh, into the corner again, and here comes the big boot. Leg drop finishing it up. You know what comes next after this? Oh, yeah. Here we go. The malt is terrible, and I doubt Beef's going to get up during this one. Let's see what's going to happen here, and he drops it into the chest. BH. BH, you know what's coming. You know what to do. Rama's gonna finally finish it. It's over. The look. Again. Again. The reversal. Every time. Rom goes for that sleeping pill. I don't know. BH should have got for that. For that corner. Close line again. Is he actually gonna connect this thing? Oh, man. He connects it. But got to set up here. Backdrop. He's got him up. Oh, reversal by Rob into a DDT! Yes, Rob, get him! Hey, wait a minute! Yes, the Anaconda Vice! He's got him in a submission hole! The Anaconda Freaking Vice! Do not tap out! Do not tap out! You hear me? Tap! I swear to God! Keep your eyes on me! Do not tap out! Lucky! He got lucky! Rob decided to let go because he has bigger plans for him! Guaranteed it's over! I don't know where! It's not gonna work out in Rob's favor here! Oh! Could it be? No way! He's got the cross face! Rob's! Rob's! Rob's leg is on the rope, but it doesn't count! No! No, Rob! Don't you quit! This is for FAM! Come on, Rob! Just give it up! You know it's over! If the FBH wins this! This is what happened at Fam Anniversary 1, Rob! This 
but he is not Andy. This is wrong, that's what we're talking about. He has more clues than Andy. He is... There we go. Thank you, Jesus Christopher. My God, man, I'm already exhausted. Oh, man, this match. A and it's... Oh! oh man, no. She from back. Oh, man, he's back. Oh, what a bitch is facing it. Rom, I don't know, I think right now this is all instinct. The human body has to only go through so much, and right now Rom is pulling everything out from his body. Oh, man. Oh, wait, no, no, BH reverses. Wait, what's he doing here? Hold on. And a big spear through the cage! He came out of the cell! Oh, the cell is broken! They broke the cell! Let's take a look at that. BH comes in and spears Rom right through the cell. The devil structure has been infiltrated! One more time! What the hell? Spear through the cell! How much damage did that do to Rom? You gotta wonder. Rom's gotta be hurting at this point. Definitely he's gotta be hurting. Look at that, Rom is just crawling right now. I mean, that's all he could do. Who, would, who wouldn't crawl after death? Anybody else would be down for the count? Oh no, BH got a sledgehammer. Ooh, Rom! Rob coming in, he's not got any weapon. And oh! Oh yes! PH missed with that that sledgehammer and Rob took advantage. Rom is malicious right now. He I think he actually fired up from to be honest. The sledgehammer means absolutely nothing right now. Right now, the only weapon Rom needs is his hands and his fists, and honestly his pure anger towards his arch rival, his former brother, PH. And Rom is gonna take him to school and take him to hell right now! Oh my oh, God. Kicks BH off of the top rope and he lands on the outside inside the cell. At least they're back in the cell, Rom. Oh. Say what the hell? No, no way! Oh, suplex through the cell door! No, Rom broke the cell with BH! Take a look. Oh, man. What are these guys going to do when all of this is over? How will these guys end up? What else can you do? The question, the question is not what are they going to do, it's what are they not going to do to each other. This should have been all over a long time ago. Oh no, Rick to the eyes. No way. The H is climbing up the cell. The H, what are you doing? That's not a safe place to be. What's, what's going on here? He's challenging Rob. Come on up. Get yourself some. Rob is climbing up! Oh my god! We're actually gonna see this DNA! Here they are on top of the cell! Oh my god, the place is set! It's all about to end! Come on, Rob! Come get you some! And he's going with that sidewalk slam! Laid him out on the cell! And now he's pounding his face! This is hell! DNA. This is pure hell. This is hell on the cell. Oh, look at this. Oh my! The low beast is going on the top of the cell. He has dented in one of the top contraptments on the cell. One more ding, and that thing can fall right through. They gotta be careful, because right now this is actually... Let's take a level look at this. Oh, my God, the destroyer on top of the cell. They are walking on thin ice right now, and in this case, I mean, this could break out any moment. Wait, hold on. Oh, hold on, Sam. DNA, DNA. Yeah. I think, I think Rom just tore BH's mask off. For the first time in a long time, we get to see BH's face. First it was Rom's glasses, now BH's mask. What a disgrace, Rom. What the hell are you talking Doesn't about? Doesn't he respect the rules of Luchador? You do not unmask your opponent. Oh, shut the hell up, man. Are you blind? Are you hypnotized by the so-called messiah? Hold on a second. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, BH's gonna go. Oh, oh. God, he was on the edge of the cell. Oh, oh my God. Jeez. Oh, my God. Rom just got backtracked into our announcer's table. He is laid out. Look at this! Reversal to a backdrop! Rombuster laid out on our table. He's done. Somebody get the ambulance down. Seriously. 
He's done. He's truly done. That's it. I don't think Rom's getting up from this one. No, no. I just don't think Rom Buster's gonna do it. No, no, he's not. No, no way. Black Heron has won this match, folks. It's over, ladies and gentlemen. You can all go home. The age can go. It's done. No way! No way! No, no! Ron Buster just got up! <laughs> He's climbing! He's climbing it up again! He's going up! He's going up! He's not done yet! Peach, turn around! You won't believe it! He's back up! Rob's back up the cell! And he wants more of the H! He says, come get you some! And now he has made the most fatal mistake of his life. He has angered the man known as BH. If this ain't over by a long shot, Rom is gonna make sure that BH goes through hell with him before all of this is over. These two men just wanna destroy each other, Rom. Here we go! Wait, was that? Was that a stunner by Rom? Oh no! And wait, what's he got here? Is he the sleeping pill? The sleeping pill! The sleeping pill! What the? What the hell just happened? Wait a minute! Wait! No, what just happened? No! No! No, 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 not like this, no, no, oh my god, PH has won this match, oh my god, he has proven, Rom, that he is the superior fighter here tonight, he is the superior warrior, he is the alpha male. No, that what? No, what the hell just happened? No, no, Rome was going for the sleeping pill and then that the top just just gave up. No. No, wait, wait. No, this can't be over. What are you guys in the cage for? No. No. Rom, it's about time that you accept. BH as your personal lord and savior. Let's take a look at some highlights here. Boom! Right through the table. Rom Buster going over with that back drop straight off the cell. And look, Rom Buster getting back up here. Challenging BH saying, come back and get some. Look, here's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Look, let me see what just happened. Hold on. Good, he went for the sleeping room, right? You gotta be kidding me. And, he, and, he, and when he hit it, the impact made the cell give, and both men fell to the map. What? Wait. Take a look here. Real close. He hits, and they both fall. So. And of course, BH crawling out of desperation, getting the three count over Rom. BH is the luckiest guy that is. Luck has nothing to do with it, Rom. I don't know what to say right now. I don't know what to say right now, DNA. Please, let's just... Luck is for horseshoes and four-leaf clovers. This man did it out of pure fortitude, and I won't have you slandering his good name. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I don't know what to say right now. I, I'm literally speechless. I'm done. I'm not even gonna... Whatever. The H has won this. This, this entire rivalry is over, and this guy is the one on top, unfortunately. Ladies and gentlemen, it has all ended tonight. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this exciting reveal. Today, we are going to reveal to you the future of FAM and everything we have in store for you. Forever a movement, has set the standards in terms of our pay-per-view events. Every so often, 
we bring you hours and hours of entertainment, which you have made loud and clear that you are very happy with. But constantly, we get to our request for all of you, and that is more. You're always asking for more from us, and today we're very excited to announce that we're bringing you more, and it's all thanks to a fantastic platform called Patreon. For as low as $1 a month, you can subscribe to our Patreon to get exclusive access to many FAM related things. But the most important part is that the money allows us to bring you more. So, without further ado, let's get into the future of FAM. First off, coming out on the second Friday of every month, the return of the FAM podcast. This podcast will not only serve as an extra bit of entertainment for you, the fans, but it is also a place where announcements and updates will be made every month. Anyone who is subscribed on Patreon will be able to submit questions and topic ideas for the shows. Plus, anyone who has subscribed to the Betrayal Disciple rank on, you know, or more on Patreon will also be able to appear on the podcast every single month. Next up, a brand new show that is set to debut on the channel, FVM Prominence. Prominence is a show that is set to come out on the third Friday of every month, and this show will run alongside our main flagship show. Prominence will feature one match between some of the best that FAM has to offer. But here's the special thing about the show. For those that are subscribed to the 999 rank, you will be given a chance to appear on the show, and if you impress, you could potentially become the next FAM superstar. Our third show which will be released on the 4th Friday of every month is the FAM Top 10. The Top 10 is a show we trailed a while back, you know, with Extreme Rules, you remember that? And you guys, you know, loved it! But because of our restraints, we have not been able to deliver this more often. In fact, we haven't delivered this at all, let's be honest. Now though, thanks to Patreon, Top 10 will be a regularly uploaded show that you can all enjoy. Now get ready for this one, ladies and gentlemen. The fourth and final show we're announcing here today is FAM Worldwide. Worldwide is FAM's brand new flagship show that will be uploaded in parts around the third Friday of every month. Worldwide will replace what was previously known as FAM Raw, and will be the show that links all our storylines between pay-per-view events. We are very excited to announce this one, and we cannot wait for all of you to see the debut episode real soon. <laughs> and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our four brand new shows that will be coming out to you monthly here in FAM. But, like we mentioned earlier on, the thing that we're most known for here is our high quality pay per views. Let's not get that out of the way. And with that, we are proud to announce the return of Cyber Fan Day. Oh, Cyber Fan Day is one of our most beloved pay per views here in FAM because it allows you, the fans, to vote on the types of matches you want to see. Cyber Fan Day will be coming later this year before the release of 2K16. God help us! And of course, for every single person who has subscribed to us on Patreon, you will get all of the shows, including Cyber Fan Day, yearly, before they are uploaded to YouTube. Patreon has allowed us to grow in so many ways, and we thank you all of amazing patrons for helping us out with it. If you haven't done so already, and you would like to subscribe to us on Patreon, you can, by visiting patreon.com slash FAM or by clicking on the link in the description. Again, thank you all so much for your continued support. We truly appreciate it. And we cannot wait to bring you guys these new shows real soon. Unless a meteor hits us, that is. But until then, yeah, everything should be according to plan. See you all very soon. I've kept my silence for far too long. It seems that we have another loose assailant running around with this purpose being to poison the minds of my followers. The major scenario with all of this is that this same person that has been so called chosen by faith is my unknown opponent at Famniversary. Faith has put me in a really difficult situation here. Usually I don't have a problem with that. The odds were always stacked against me from the start. My entire life was an endless game of Russian Relay. And yet here I am still on top and still your World Heavyweight Champion. The one thing that eagers me is that this man claims that he is the savior of fam and I am the true corrupted one. <laughs> Listen here, 
If it wasn't for me, this championship would be around Black Heron's waist. If it wasn't for me, Betrayal would have had total control over Fam. If it wasn't for me, Fam would have been doomed. I am the savior of this movement. Everyone around here pays nothing but respect towards me. It isn't the law, but it is the courtesy that I have rightfully earned. Whoever you are, you claim that I am just imitating the light, when in reality, I am the light. I am the only light in this cave consumed by darkness. So if you think that I'm just gonna stand by and let you intimidate me with your cryptic words, you'd be right. Go ahead, keep on talking. Because actions speak louder than words. And come fam anniversary, when this everything is on the line, I will show you why I deserve to hold this championship. And most importantly, I will prove to you and to everyone else that I am the one and only pure savior of fam. Ladies and gentlemen, just, well, just, I have no idea what to say. What we just saw a few moments ago, the classic, really, all on brawl, fantastic match, classic, from what we've seen between BH and Rom. But the way it ended, honestly, in this world, does evil truly prevail? Is this really the way to go for FAM? And could this actually mean the end of Rom Buster? Ladies and gentlemen, and during the pre-show, we had one hell of a gauntlet match, and it turned out that Anarchy was ended up being victorious. That's right, we had a lot of big moments in that match, Rom. Showing you some of them here. That, oh, that backstabber by Wabashi. Right, I'm letting you guys all know right now, all of these guys have put on their 100% best performance. But at the end of the day, it was Wabashi, and again, I'm sorry, I mean, it was Anarchimus. At the end of the day, Anarchimus came out victorious and is now going to challenge Smack Talks, the winner of the YouTubers Gauntlet match, for the finals of the Global Championship. This is going to be historic. Right, just when we thought Mr. Sicko was about to take it, Anarchimus made his return and then it grabbed him. Put him away with this big move. Boom! And he got the three count, which is why he's here tonight to take on Smack Talks. The following match is scheduled for one fall and is for the Global Championship. Making his way to the ring, the winner of the six man YouTuber Gauntlet match, Smack Talks! What do you have to say about this guy? You know, regardless if he entered last in the YouTubers Battle Royal, from what I've saw from him, he has what it takes. He truly has the capabilities of being the global champion and truly beating the Russian brulette, whatever you want to call it, and he will do it. In my opinion, I think he has the skill over uh, an Artemis. Well, he's a very popular guy, but it's going to come down to who's got the skill and who's got the fortitude. Like any other match, it's not over until it's over. We're gonna see what Anarchimus can do. Who's gonna walk out here? The global champ. Ah, uh, you know that sound, Rom. You know who it is. Ah, oh, yes, DNA is that sexy beat. Russian style. And his opponent, the winner of the pre-show gauntlet match, Anarchimus. Oh man, in, in Soviet Russia, Anarchimus owns you. That's pretty, I think it's not even Russia, dude. I think that's just a global rule, don't you think? Well, goes for saying anyway. What we should expect though is Anarchimus is gonna come out here and he's gonna put some feet to head, knees to head, elbows to head, arms to head. Dude, let's just put it this way, Anarchimus is going to tear the house. He is going to try and take the Global Championship. He is here to represent FAM for the Global Championship against the YouTuber side of things. And I truly hope, even though I have my doubts, I truly hope Anarchimus actually ends up becoming the FAM Global Champion. It is the FAM Global Championship, okay, no, not the YouTuber's Global Champion, so it should belong to us. He is representing FAM. We're gonna see who's gonna walk out of here with this new global championship. Oh, and there it is. The global title hangs in the balance here. 
And here we go. It is FAM versus... Oh, here we go again. As, as we seen in the YouTube versus Cosmic match before, Smack Talks has just become this amazing... He had it before because he didn't compete at the FAM Ray Rumble, but you know what happened there? So we never saw the side of him. But apparently, this guy has some mojo skill. The guy, the guy's looking at a, at a big opportunity. And not to mention as well that this guy has something to prove. And besides being the big one of the biggest guys on YouTube, he has something else to prove. Because to be honest, he looked the weakest in the rumble. No offense, but oh my god, look at that. So now it'd be after wait, he could be the Goldberg chair right now. Here we go. One, two. Nah, yeah. As I was saying, even after winning the, the Gauntlet match, if he doesn't win the championship, it will still mean nothing. You know, so might as well right. go all for it right now. He's gotta win this. He's gotta make up for his uh, Royal Rumble loss. Right. Not just his loss, but overall performance. Again, I hate going back into it. Oh my god. And Oh, but oh, he's not gonna let that right happen. Into the leg there. Doing some damage. And Archimus. See? Oh. He's gonna look to do a lot of damage to those limbs. Take out that flying game. Being the brawler that he is, and also being the tactician almost, he's working on the legs of Smack Talks. Look at that. And Archimus circling around him, looking strategically for a spot to attack. Right. Yeah. Smack Talks is not going to let any of this happen. He's not going to let this opportunity slip him by. He wants the global championship. He wants to be the biggest, the hottest YouTuber there is. And what better way to do it than to end up capturing that championship right here tonight. Right, and oh what a blow, God. what a blow to Smack Talk's ego should Anarchimus come up the victor. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Oh, oh my God! What a credit to Anarchimus. And should he able, be able to defeat Smack Talk's? Let's see that one more time. Beautiful shooting star press. I'm telling you, that shooting star press was one of the moves that actually got him one of the pitfalls. Actually, the only pitfall in that good match. So kudos to Anarchimus. That just shows you that Anarchimus is here. He's at the peak. I'm telling you, he is ready to take home the gold for FAM. Big stakes here. Oh, oh running knee to the face. There we go again. This could be it. This could be it. One. Man. Yo. Yo, give the credit to Smack Talks, man. Because seriously, he is as amped top as Anarchimus. Him in the corner now. What's it gonna be? Ooh. Oh, European uppercut. Russian uppercut. Russian uppercut. Here we go. One. Not even now. Two count from Smack Talks himself. And now oh, into the corner now. Oh man, I smelled Russian bacon being cooked. Oh man. Here we go. Oh, nice flying knee. Taking him up, looks like a hurricane run up the top! Oh, that Frankensteiner taking him down! Man, look at that. Smack Talks working on the spine of an Archimus. Oh, he keeps that up. The only thing he's gonna be rushing is rushing to the hospital. <laughs> ah, it's not that funny. Oh, in the form. Oh, here we go. Here's something else that's not funny. These guys going... Oh, that inverted atomic drop. That's pretty not funny. To the corner here. Kick to the leg. Got him upside down now. Oh, oh a kick to the ribs. I gotta tell you, man, Archimus is on his A game right now. He is pinpointing every joint. He got a pin here. One. And only a one. Is that a rope break or a run? Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, regardless, it's, it's still a one count. And Archimus is gonna have to do some more damage. So more, much more if he wants to keep Smack Talks down. He wants to keep the pace on his side, that's for sure. And wait, wait. Uh, oh, wait, we got a roll up in here. School, but again, the roll breaks. My God. It's going to be here and into the ropes. Coming off. Oh, my. Do you see what I'm talking about? That's not just a regular arm drag. That's a Japanese arm drag. The luchador style. Again, I'm mixing luchador with Japanese, but you get catch my drift. Definitely wrong. Well, this is, it's definitely it's a quick maneuver. And that's about Smack Talks' game. He's so quick. He's so he's so good at getting those little moves in at the last moment. Right. 
Doesn't even give you time to react. This guy is going to community showcase his talents right here. You see what he did there? Oh! Running double foot kick to the face. There's Penny going back and forth yet. Oh my god! Oh. Who's that? Like a 450 clothesline off the springboard. That was. Yo, give it up for him. Give it up for SmackDown. That was amazing. That was an amazing feat of agility. That was what was the Phoenix clothesline. I never seen it in my entire. Look at that. And just to top it off, a vintage Hurricane Rana, Frankenstein. Look at this. That's like a 450 clothesline. I've never seen anything like that. Kudos. Amazing. Now Anarchimus. Oh, something a little less flashy, but a little more effective. Right, nothing fancy about that. Just all out brawl. That's what he is. He just wants to put you down. And you know what? I think that's the more effective way, to be honest. Anarchimus told me before the match, if he dies, he dies. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, and I think that might be the case right now. That kick right in the heart, man. That that's really dangerous. Oh my god. Oh, that. Beautiful head scissors spinning around, throwing the arc in a second to the corner here. Yo, seriously, Smack Talk has been all out in this smack. He's going all Look out. At um, no doubt about that. He's gotta go all out because he has to. He's gotta he's gotta showcase his talents. He's gotta he's gotta he's gotta stroke his ego. And, and I think right now that could be his downfall because oh here we go like oh, yeah. could it be one two oh my and a kick out by Anarchimus. Smack Tall still taking it to him oh wait a minute oh this full hand right there who's he gonna be here now Anarchimus setting him up in the corner. Got the leg up there. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh no. 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 Look at that. Oh, superplex off the top. Smack Talks has just been laid out. Here we be it. One. Two. Oh no. What an intense match. These guys giving it everything they got. I've never expected these two to go all out like they are doing right now. Oh, and a forearm shot. the outside what's it gonna be here what's it going for oh, springboard and oh beautiful twisting moonsault that it dude i think right now smack talks is just showing up look at that really is there any way to describe the amazing feats that smack talks is pulling off right now with ease he's flying around he's probably the best cruiserweight we ever had period and that's he's not even in fam technically speaking not only can he fly, Ron, but he's fearless. He's got no problem with going up and throwing his body at you in many different ways. Right. But he could end up being, honestly, the global champion. I, I, I'm I, foreseeing it right now. Well, let's take another look here. Beautiful twisting moonsault. Springboard off the ropes to the outside. All fancy. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not in frenzy about that, though. No flash. Just crash. Damn, just like that big boot. Martin is going for the Ah Santon. Right there. Simple move, but effective. One, two. Ah man. It's gonna take much more. After what we've seen from Smack Tonks, it's gonna take much more than that to put him down for the global championship, especially. Guys are going hard at each other. Oh, back and forth with this action. Russian uppercut with the British elbow, European elbow, whatever you want to call it. These two are. Look at that! These two are not going to let an inch. These for the World Championship. They are going to kill if they have to for this prize. Two guys stepping into the ring for a prize. Oh. You know they're going to go all out to get it. This is for the Global Championship. It's a new Global Championship, and I gotta tell you, oh, history is in the making right now. New Global Championship, new path, new genesis, new history. And don't forget, don't forget, Anarchimus wants to walk out of here with a, with, with... Oh my God, he won't be walking out anywhere if he continues like that. Jesus, Anarchimus. 
Memphis wants to walk out of here with a with a perfect record. But Smack Talks is standing in the way of that right now. Oh, oh my God! Springboard shooting star. Holy! Absolutely amazing. Can I just go on a limp and say that Smack Talks is by far the most incredible athlete FAM has ever seen? Period. Go ahead and dodge me. I dare you. I double dare you. He's got an Archimus. I'm shocked. You have to put him away here. It's, it's got to be over. I mean, he's, 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 how much more can you do to a guy? How, how much more can a guy take before he just doesn't get up? Right. I, never, I didn't even know SmackDog said this in him. Seriously, this is... I'm speaking... <laughs> Seriously. Picking him up. Picking him up. Nice suplex. Is he going to set that up for something else? He's going up top. From what I've seen so far, yep. Here we go. He believes he can fly. He's going for a shooting start. Oh, and he connected. The red arrow crook. I don't know what that you call it. Look at that. Oh. And he landed on his chest. One, two. What? I don't know how he's just kicked out of that. I haven't seen that many twists since the last time I opened a can. Oh, man. This ain't no time for just Look at it one more time. This is the move that got, that brought him here. That brought him to the finals. It's unbelievable. What the hell is it? Nice, beautiful, not a right suplex by Smack Talks. Hey, what the hell is now? Oh, now he's gonna do it again. He's gonna do the crazy shooting star press, isn't he? Here we go. Wait. What? He missed. And an Archimus. Close line after close line. Duck and. Oh, right to the eyes by Smack Talks. Anything by any means necessary to win that global championship. Oh, with the turnbuckle, I see it. West Coast pop. Doc underneath the close line in. And Archimus. He got him. He got him with the. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh my god. He got him with that new move. He's laying him out. One, two. And he wins. And Archimus wins. He is. And Archimus has won the global championship. This is history. I think it was just done it. This, this is the biggest moment of his career. The biggest turnip point I've ever seen in FAF period. This guy just went from being, I'll be honest, a nobody to being one of the biggest champions in FAM history, making the biggest landmark and fan anniversary. Oh, let's take a look at some of these moves here now. This is the first. This is knee to the head right match. here. What a match, DNA! Come on. Oh man, and look at not fancy but effective. Those clotheslines in the corner. What a match! Look at that. These guys went all out. Look at that. Oh, beautiful superplex. Smack talks, bro. And here we are coming back off the ropes, and he knocked him with that. Get, you know, respect goes out to Smack Thoughts because he showed us something we've never seen before and he brought it all out by the end of the day and Archimus wins it all! No, well done, Archimus. Well done, and wait a minute. Who's that? Wait a minute! What the? Oh, what? That, that's Tony Pizza guy! What, what's he doing here? Wait a minute! What the hell did he just do? Tony Pizza guy just laid out an Archimus, folks. I think this is just very well clear here. Tony Pizza Guy is after an Archibus and he is after that global championship. <laughs> I told you. I told all of you, and I hope that you got that message loud and clear because me and Tony Pizza Guy would not stand in line for anybody. But of course, what's with all this talk if we didn't make an impression? See, all I had to do was just wait until the dust settled and send Tony Pizza Guy out there to take out the winner. Simple plan. But oh, so effective. So effective, in fact, that the new and generous FAM general manager has rewarded us with a title shot at the next FAM pay-per-view. That's right, dear champ. At Cyber FAM Day, it's going to be you versus Tony Pizza Guy versus me.
for the FAM Global Championship. See you soon. See you very soon. <laughs>if it wasn't for me, fam would have been doomed. I am the savior of this movement.
the most controversial World Heavyweight Champion we've ever had in the history of FAM. When he quote unquote defeated BH at the Royal Rumble, he took the championship and he is now able to defend it at Anniversary. You're right, Ron. Quote unquote defeated him. What he actually did was stole a victory by an incompetent ref. And how is that actually Merck's fault? Nobody's blaming Merck directly, but maybe he had a little bit in the side. Maybe he was in the referee's pocket or something. I don't know. I'm not making accusations. I'm just asking questions. Right. But the bigger question we have right now, folks, is who the hell is his opponent? Who the hell is the revelation? We're about to find out right now. to get real, Rom. No freaking way! And his opponent, from Italy, the former World Heavyweight Champion, representing Betrayal, Andy Badwolf! Andy Badwolf is the revelation! Andy Badwolf has now been given an opportunity to meet a fresh family anniversary to go ahead and challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship against 20 Evil people. What the hell? This is like a fantasy match. Andy Badwall was the man that everybody said deserved it at the Rumble. Andy Badwall has come out to live his prophecy, to walk in BH's vision, and to bring home that coveted FAM World Heavyweight Championship. I don't know if he deserves it or not, but the bottom line is, folks, it, it's Andy Badwell. Andy Badwell for the 2TM for the World Heavyweight Championship. That anniversary main event. I don't know what to say, folks. It's about to get it on. We're about to get it on right here, right now. And there it is. The biggest prize in the game. The World Heavyweight Championship. This is a dream match none of us thought we'd ever see. And here we go, folks. This is it. The main event of the grandest stage of them all. Anniversary 3. History DNA is about to be written. DNA, how excited are you to see this? Seriously. This is this is absolutely phenomenal, Rom. I cannot believe that Andy Badwell got this opportunity to come in here and take that championship away from Merck to give us the greatest match they possibly could here at Anniversary. This is what it's all about. Right, but I also gotta point out, besides the hype and etc., I'll be honest right now, I'm gonna be critical about Andy because, mind you, he's in betrayal. If he wins, dude, I just remind myself, if he wins, that's all the power to betrayal. I can't let that happen, nobody can let that happen. That sounds like a prejudice, Rom. Just because he's in betrayal doesn't mean anything. He's still a great guy and a great athlete who deserves that championship because he deserves it. Dude, if he's in betrayal, that, that, that doesn't mean anything because whatever he does, he brings on the ch Oh, here we go. No, 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 please, not like this. Merc. Oh, got a count of one there. Right. If he brings the World Heavyweight Championship to betrayal, then pretty much, you know, that means BH is the World Heavyweight Championship. Nonetheless. It is what it is, Ron. That's how the game is played. That's how the politics are played. And you know, you gotta accumulate power. You gotta bring it into your fold. That's what it's all about, Ron. 
If you're not doing that, you're not doing it right. Again, that is why I'm, I'm actually rooting for Merc here. I actually want Merc. I am praying to Merc not to let this happen. This is going to be a great match, but I really do not oh. power slam. Beautiful. Beautiful, nice power slam. Here we go with a pin. Oh, Andy got the rope break. It's stuff like that I want Merc to do. Because if the World Heavyweight Championship don't win, man. Oh, oh, what the? Nice. Jesus. And now he's going for a pin of his own. A quick kick out by Andy there. I'm not denying the resiliency of this tough man named Andy Bell, but I'm denying the fact that this guy's a nice guy. Look, one more time. Well, this is what I'm talking about. It's stuff like Dude. this. I think Merck knows, besides him defending his World Weight Championship, he knows that, oh my god, look at that, this is a power slam machine. There we go, with a pin, one. Oh, and only a one. Merck kicking out. Oh, another power slam, this is insane. Beautiful, uh, just, a, just a, a, a bevy of power slams here for Merck. He's just laying it to Andy Babwell. Andy needs to get up and make a move here. Merck, do not waste your time. Spine Buster by Andy! Vintage Andy Badwood! Merck needs to understand that if he wastes time like this, not only would he lose his World Championship, look at that! See what I'm talking about? Oh, nice neck breaker from Andy Badwood! If he loses the World Championship, FAM is done for might as well! And now Andy's pummeling Merck mercilessly and... Oh no! Andy setting up Merck! This is it! If Andy connects, it's over at all mine! Merck backfires! But why is he freaking taunting? Enough with that cocky attitude. What is this, Merck? Come on, beat him up. Come on, finish him. There we go. There we go. Yes! Backbreaker. Do not let Betrayal win that championship. I guarantee you right now, if Andy does actually end up winning this World Weight Championship, I'm pretty sure he's gonna give it to BH. Might as well. Might as well. What the hell is Wait, 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 wait. Andy caught him. Oh no! GTS! No! Merc! Kick out! One, two. Oh, thank God! Oh my lord! Andy just caught Merc mid her just like this. Look at that! This is what Merc gets to be honest for wasting time like that. He almost cost himself the World Living Champion. Damn it! He nearly cost FAM the championship! All the power! But let me kick it out. Oh, luckily. You know, not for nothing, Rom. You gotta give it, you gotta give it up. The guy will do whatever he's gotta do to win this match. And more power to him, but again, more power to him means more power to betrayal, might as well. You know, and that's not ever a good thing. I don't I hate repeating myself, DNA. I have my opinions. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. Going to the outside here. What's it gonna be? Could be a backdrop. Wow! Oh, he actually got mad at that dude. That's perfect. Merc. Merc. Toss him back. Oh my god. Hey, look at that again. Up and down. That's the second move that Andy's taken off the apron in two pay per views. Right? And I got a leg drop right on the neck. On that. Dude, Merc. Stop his. There we go. Pin him. Here we go. One, two. Oh. oh man, take a look at this. Oh, and he kicked out after that. What does that tell you, Rob? I am not denying the resilience with me. Oh, beautiful. The trail only. The trail only wants the best. Here we go. One, two. And a kick out after two. The yeah, trail the best only for wants themselves. the best. That best for themselves, DNA. That's what you're not understanding. Or if you do understand, you're just blind, just like your eyes right now. That's that's the nature of the game, Rom. You accumulate the toughest. You accumulate the best. That's how a team wins. Oh, nice. Super arm drag from the top rope. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Oh. Did I just see that right? It looked like Merck was going to go upstairs, but it didn't happen. Did Merck just push out when he saw Andy come out like that? What the hell? Oh, and here we go. Like he was about to run. Right. Nice combination. By going up and... Me on the face of Merck and the Bulldog! What the hell is up with Is he like afraid after Andy did popped up like that? Well, what do you do, Rob? What do you do when you see a guy get up after you hit him with a move like that? Yeah, but actually I'm starting to think now that Merck is not who he says he is. I mean, what kind of savior gets scared so easily like that? Everybody's got their limits, Rob. Everybody has their limits. 
And when he saw Andy get up like that, he may have thought, what do I got to do? Oh, he set him up for something here. What's it going to be? Could he get that bad wheel driver? Could it be? DNA. You're a fanboy. What the hell was that? I don't, I don't think there's a word for that. Uh, no, it's done. It's done. And more kicks out. You can call it the hospital driver because that's where he's going to end up after he did that. Hold on, DNA. Do you actually hear that? There's actually a pitch shift here. Oh, drop kick by Merck taking Andy off the second rope here. The fans are actually booing Merck. They're actually cheering for Andy Badwell, the betrayal member. And to be quite honest, I understand why. Merck's being a bit too shady. Now Merck's gonna get desperate here. Look at it, take a look at this again. Ah! Oh, damn, banged it on. Uh, well, he's got Andy set up with something here. Some kind of what the hell is that? Yeah, what is that? Like a double arm, cricket crab, clutch, something. I don't know what to call it. It was an inverted Boston Crab that damaged Andy. Oh man, Merck going to the outside here. On the apron, he's waiting for something. He's pacing. Merck has no patience, he wants to get it there, I heard Andy. He's just timing him right now, he's just timing him. Oh, look at drop, double drop kick to the back. That was fancy and effective, not gonna lie. Oh, and Zaguri following it up. And Murray's gonna set up for it. He's gonna set it up, DNA. Twice a reaction! Twice a reaction! It's done! This time is big! No! Somehow, some way, Andy Bad will manage to kick out. That thing was over! That should have been over! Look at this. Oh, wait, wait, Andy reverses! Oh, no. Punch ready to face up Murray. Wait. You can just feel it. Something is about to give right now. Hold on. Hey, what's going? Hold on. Uh, uh, oh! Suicide dive to the outside. Andy Badwell takes a spill. Andy Badwell is in complete control right now. Take a look at this again. That twisted reaction he got him. Right, that should have been it. But somehow Andy managed to kick out. Honestly, I'm beginning to admire Andy here. Face makes waste, Mark. So you better keep that in mind and not waste your time with Andy Badwell because he can turn it on you. Blent, Merck is pissing me off right now. He's not even taking this seriously. I think all he cares about is that World Heavyweight Championship at this point because if it's, he's actually battling for FAM, he will be taking this so much more serious. I know that was out of the blue, folks. I apologize, but... They weren't too cocky for his own good here, but you know what? He's doing things that are effective. Going to that DDT again. Laying in damage. Oh, he's setting him up here for something. No! Merck, do not do that! Take him down! There we go, there we go! Twisted impact, twisted! Yes, twisted impact, they got him! Pit him, Merck! Pit him! What? What? Merck! Why are you doing this? Why are you wasting time? What's up with Merck today? Merck going up top here. Ah, oh, reversal! Wait a minute! No! No, 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 no! And he gets it! No oh, way! No! Merck is down! One, two, three! Oh, wait, no! Andy Bad Wolf, the new World of League champion! Andy has done it! Andy Bad Wolf, one of the founders of FAM, the first ever FAM heavyweight champion. Finally, after five years, he has reclaimed his title, and his prophecy has been. Wait a minute here. Andy Ducks! Merck! You. You idiot! You deserve to lose that championship! Screw you, Mark! But damn it to hell! The, now the trail has to go! I don't know what happened to Mark since the Rumble, but I do know is that right now we can all celebrate. Ladies and gentlemen, Andy Babwell has reclaimed the gold and reclaimed the power for betrayal. Oh, what a night this has been, Rom. And this right here, Ron, was the defining moment. The moment that gave Andy Badwell his affirmed win. After Merck being cocky and what he deserved it, and honestly, Andy does deserve the World Championship, but damn it to hell! Why is Betrayal empowered? I am just in awe, Rom. I am really in awe of this prodigal son finally bringing home that goal. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. 
What? I I'm getting something here. Uh, this is serious. What's up? I I'm being told. Wait, I don't understand what's going on, but uh, apparently, we're about to find out right now. Wait, wait, wait. I don't mean to interrupt the celebration. But this show is not over until I want it to be over. Dear GM, I hate to repeat myself, but I make decisions here, not you. Andy, I am the one that made you, and now it is time for you to repay your debt. And that is why I am coming to the ring right now, and you're going to hand the FAM World Deadweight Championship over to me. Wait a minute! Did I just hear that right? Did BH just demand Andy to hand over the title to him? What? And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. The man that's about to be rightfully receiving the World Heavyweight Championship. Are you serious? No, 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 no. I'm not handing anything over to you, BH. Not this time. I am done with you. Yes! Andy! What the hell? Andy just said he is finished! You want this title? Then you have to fight me for it. Let's finish this between us. Let's do this right now! What? Wait a minute! Andy just laid out the challenge to BH! What the hell's going on here? I, I can't believe this! Are we really about to witness this? No, 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 no. Th this isn't happening, okay? It it's going down! Black Heron has accepted Andy's challenge! We are witnessing the explosion of betrayal! Andy, you, you D-Man Judas! Why would you do this? You're a backstabbing our savior, you son of a bitch! BH is no damn savior, he just wanted power! And Andy has finally realized that! But this time, folks, Andy's not backing down! I can't believe this is happening, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. It's all about to go down. The anniversary one main event rematch and the implosion of betrayal. The title is on the line. It all comes down to this. These two warriors going back and forth, back and forth. None of these guys letting an inch. BH is doing what is best for FAM. He's looking out for FAM's best interests, Rom. And right now, Andy is standing in the way of that. Andy's standing in the way of the light? I don't think so, DNA. You understand right now. Finally, Andy is imposing the darkness. That is, BH. This, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the final battle of this night. Who would have thought? Who would Oh, my God. And now BH is going to take it to him with the steel stairs. Let's take a look at this again. Oh, nice suplex on the outside there. And now he's got those steel steps. He's going to come at Andy. Watch out, Andy. No! Oh, right in the face with those steel steps. And now he's bringing it down on his knee. Oh, what a thought. Out of all the night, this would happen right here. Oh, my God. Look at the strength of BH. BH is going to take it to Andy. He's, he's going to punish this little punk. He's going to take him to town for defying the one, the savior known as BH. BH is no damn savior. Let me tell you about this right now. Andy, first of all, the origins of betrayal, according to Andy, and according to the mindset of Andy, was to take out the quote-unquote cancer of BFA. Yeah. Now, what he does realize now is that BH has become the true cancer of FAM. Look at that one more time, making sure that Andy goes down for the count. You know, cancer's a harsh word, bro. It's true. Cancer's a really harsh word. Uh, do you own a dictionary? Because I want you to go look up the words cancer and savior. And the cancer that you're, the picture you're going to see for cancer is going to be wrong. And the picture you're going to see for savior is going to be BH. You know why that is? It's because they are the definitions of those words. BH has really done his number on you. He really did his work. Hey, you're lost, man. You're a whole lost cause, but I don't care about you right now. All I care about is Andy making sure he takes down this demon, this monster known as BH. I still can't believe it. Wait a minute, what the... Oh, no. Oh, my 
Oh, caught on the ropes. Oh my God, Shades of what hit the wrong during the hell in the cell. Look at this. Oh, and onto the ropes. Adding insult to injury. And the reverse has come on, Eddie. There we go, fight back. Take him down. And setting up for here. Yes! Moonsault off the top rope. Andy Barrow coming over and vintage landing on BH. Vintage Moonsault by Andy. Man, I'm telling you, that's one of his signatures. And I'm so happy. This is the first time in years since 2011. I'm happy to see this move. And it's the first time in years I'm cheering for Andy. You're not going to have much reason to cheer for Andy as soon as BH gets up here and starts putting him down. This is not over, not by a long shot. And he's gonna have to fight for his life. Oh my god, hey, but who would have thought, ladies and gentlemen, that the true main event of this historical night would be between these two betrayal, now former betrayal members, I assume, and betrayal of this is done. Oh my god, no. BH is gonna chair it, but no! And he's got the stairs. Oh my god! Speaking of betrayal, Let's not forget, we've seen a great turn of events here. Devil may be joining Betrayal, as well as a few other turn of events that led to this point. Like I said, DNA, oh my god, look at that, just slipping. We don't know who might make an appearance here in this match. It's a, it's a, it's a crapshoot. And now BH just pummeling, pummeling Gandhi. These are two best friends, or so I thought. Apparently, BH prefers power over friendship. You know, no surprise to me, apparently. But, you know, to you, it's a big surprise. Well, friends come and go, Rom, right? But power and power and opportunity and being the best, oh my God. that only lasts for so long. You have to grab it while it's there. Oh, my, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh! Holy shit. Top rope landing through Andy Badwell and the table. These two former leaders of FAM did a fighting genre of this generation. The betrayal leaders for crying out loud are, a, are killing each other. And that's why he's that's why he's the savior, Rob. He's willing to sacrifice himself for the betterment of FAM. And now Andy reverses, there we go. This all, this started way back in 2013, where BH actually stole the number one contendership from Andy. Oh, wait a second here. Spear! Spear right through the barricade! Take him down, Andy! Payback's a bitch, ain't it, BH? wouldn't have ever thought in a million years that tonight will be the implosion of betrayal. This started way back in 2013 as I pointed out, but it all pretty much was uh, set in stone for me at the Rumble when BH demanded Andy to step out and actually give hand over the Rumble win to BH. Yeah, let's talk about betrayal for a minute here, Rob. The real betrayal here is that Andy Bailwell is betraying FAM by not handing over the world title to BH. Oh my god, oh my god! BH's skull just cracked between Andy's boot and the ring post. And I'm so happy to finally see someone dishing out pain to this, to this, I don't know, there's no way to describe this heathen known as BH. But apparently, yo, he's like a god, so go ahead, praise him if you want. Hey, you know, the, the funny thing about it is, Rom, I kind of feel like you just might have a little bias ever since he destroyed Rom Buster here earlier tonight. Who better? to finally put the nail in the coffin of not only Betrayal and also BH than Andy Badwell himself. And he's going on top here. He's in no man's land. Wait a minute, wait, 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 oh. hold on! No, 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 no! Oh, he's got it, he's got it! No! Oh. No, oh, he's got him locked up and it's gonna be all over. He's gonna tap out just like Fabniversary 1. No, no! Andy Badwell took it. No, 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 history cannot repeat itself, oh thank god, no. Wait a minute, wait a minute! Oh, reversal here. No Jesus way! No, the black and gold power bomb! Oh my god, no! It's over! Yes, 
Yes! Andy! Go, Andy! Go! Come on! Put him away, BH! Just put him away! Finish this trainer! Trainer my ass, dude! And Andy! Andy and BH! These are the two guys that founded FAM! But in all honesty, Andy was the one that actually put the field. Hold on a sec. Oh, no! oh my god, take a look at that again. No! Oh. What the hell was that? What was that? I don't even know what to describe that as. None, nonetheless, it was effective. And right now, BH is taking it to Andy. Oh my god, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Get up, dude. Don't let this happen. Don't let... No, no, man. Look at this. One more time. I think Andy's out, Andy's out cold. Oh, no, no, no. BH taking the top of our table here. No, 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 no. Please, please. This can't be it. This can't be the end. Andy! Yes! Put it there! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No! Andy, don't do this. Do it! Don't do it! Do it! I don't care! Don't you dare! Put him! Throw it! Put him! Yes! Oh. He put down the demon! <laughs> Who would have thought we would ever see this? The implosion of betrayal, the Femiversary 1 made a fence rematch, all going down unexpectedly right here, right now. There we go, Andy. Come on, finish him! Finish him! You already put him through a table. Just pin him, and it's all over. You've saved us from FAM! Dude! Yes! BH, come on, BH. Yes! It's over! It's over! It's over! What oh. the? Holy. My lord. Pedigree! Pedigree! No, 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 no! No! Ah, ha, ha, yes! Yes! Oh, the strength of BH. Finish him. Wait, BH is bleeding! This is the first time BH is bleeding! Oh no! Finish him, BH! No! What's he thinking? No, he's gonna put his head off! He's gonna get in the punt! And... No! Wait a minute! Andy! Wait a minute! No, 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 no! No, whoa! Yes! Damn it! Damn it! Whoa. Oh! Wait, wait! Andy caught him! Holy s***! Holy s***! This can't be a BH, get up! This is it! One, two, three. He did it! And he has done it! And he has slain the demon! No! 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 I don't believe this! And he has heard his night voice! And the battle is the rightful FAM World Heavyweight Champion! No, 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 this isn't happening. Andy, what have you done? You damn traitor, you Judas! Andy Badwell has risen from the shadows of betrayal and has escaped the clutches of BH. Andy has not only seen the light, but has also brought it back to all of us. Andy would be nothing without BH. It is BH who got him where he's at, and without him, there wouldn't be an FAM. Oh, bullshit! Yes, BH is a major part of FAM, but he's not the heart and soul of it. The heart beats because of members like Andy, like Ron Buster, Mass Linkster, Anarchimus, and the soul of FAM ignites because of the fans. The same fans that have went through the darkness because of BH. But tonight, tonight we can all rejoice as the devil has been brought down by Andy Badwell. What a night it has been. Oh my lord. This was the night, this was the moment that put down our nightmare once and for all, folks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you ever forget this night? Family Tree will be carved in history as the night Titans clashed, where wars were both settled and reignited. The night where nightmares were laid to rest, and of course, when Andy Badwell redeemed himself and FAM. Thank you all for joining us.
Guess you were right all along. He is weak. There is a lot of work to be done here, sir. So I'm guessing it's time to go forth with our plan. Just give me the orders, and the cleansing of fam will begin. Finally, it was here. It's done. All right, it's done. Finally, uh, we, we worked so hard on this, and finally, we have people seeing this just marvelous project that we love. Right, Trump? <laughs> okay, we're sorry that we delayed this project because it wasn't to be up on February 28th, but you gotta admit, it was all worth it at the end. The, the stuff we added beyond it is something we are very proud of. Very proud of. New features and everything. Where do we begin? Let's start with the FAA mode. Nobody could predict that. Nobody would predict that it was going to actually be something similar to a GM mode. And to be honest, it's so simple, yet it's so good. It's so to the point. And it actually helps us deliver the stories even more. Absolutely. Uh, the game re removes tons of cutscenes and stuff like that. And we just had to find something that could replace that, those things. And not only we provide cutscenes in the show, but also a new brand new FAM mode that we worked on for a few months and we're very proud of what what, we, what was done with it. I still think FAM mode will continue forever. It's gonna be a huge part. It's a welcome addition to FAM in all of its glory. I know that for a fact. Yeah, yeah. We started with 215 and we're definitely going to expand it with the future iterations of this series and franchise. Um, especially because everything was done from scratch. Remember, we had nothing that was done for this show because the game is new, the new Consoles, the new clothes, the, 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 everything is new, man. I mean, seriously. And you know what? Take a look. It's all worth it at the end. All worth yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. We, we definitely went out with this. We, we tried our best to please our fans. You guys are amazing. We are just proud of the support we get on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Patreon, anywhere. You guys are just rocking it, and we're so proud of you. And we just couldn't give you a rush show. We have to put our best effort in this. And I'm so proud of what happened. And I'm so proud of you getting the show tonight and you're getting more and more and more content, right, Rom? Oh yeah, because this is just the beginning of a new era for FAM and I know we said it a lot in the past, but I'm telling you this right now, 100% guarantee across my heart, this is just the beginning. If you thought this show was gonna blow your mind, get ready to what we have in store next. The next pay-per-view is gonna be Cyber Fandy, and we promise you, we promise you, we're gonna try and put out Cyber Fandy before 2K16. And we're gonna start working on this right now, as a matter of fact. And other shows as well. Don't, don't forget, we have plenty of shows in the works for you guys. Not just one, two, three. We have tons of shows. We have worldwide, we have the prominence, we have top 10, we have podcasts, we have Cyber Fam Day, we have tons of stuff just coming for you guys. And you know why? Because people are showing so much support, especially on Patreon. Patreon.com slash FAM. You guys are just. I don't know, I I'm really, really, really emotional about this because when we first made Patreon, we didn't know if people would love it or not, or people were gonna subscribe, but you guys are subscribing every single day and our Patreon is growing like that and we just have to thank you guys, Rom, I mean, I I'm shocked about this. This is not just a hobby for us, this is basically a part of our life, you know. What we put out is 100% effort and it kills us. So, knowing that you people actually support us like that, actually donating, actually inspires us and the money yeah we're gonna go a bit specific here the money doesn't go to us it goes to the members and it goes to the production of the show we're not gonna spend it on freaking trying to buy a car or whatever the no, other youtubers no. do these days no we just every money that goes into that patreon is going for the show we have in mind a big feature for FAM. We we want to make FAM an actual reality of wrestling. We want to create more shows. We want to make a production studio. We want to hire more people. We want to make this huge, guys. And and with your support, this is gonna happen. And I'm so excited for the future, Rom. I really can't contain myself. I, I, this is amazing. I mean, as we're making this video right now, recording, I just 
I just can't wait until the reception we get for Fem Anniversary at, the, at this point. It's... And what is this? June 1st, 2015? And when this shit goes up on the air and I get all that major reception, it's inspiration. It truly really is inspiration. And when that is all said and done, I'm gonna head straight for Cyber Fandy and then the other team is gonna start working on Worldwide and the other shows and it's just gonna go straight uphill from there. We just want to tell you guys that we're not done yet. This, that this show is not the end, this show is the beginning of a new era and we're not going to stop making content for you guys. We're going to make more content, we're going to upload content every single week on this channel, XFAMXHD. And also you can follow us on all the platforms, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Patreon, anywhere you guys want, we're gonna be there for you. All the time, forever, a movement is forever. The Facebook is facebook.com slash FAM clan, twitter.com slash FAM clan, and if you want to follow us individually and ask us some questions, my Twitter is at Rombuster and my Twitter is at XBlackHeronX. Also, remember, you can send us an email at xfamxhd at gmail.com. You can subscribe to us on Patreon at uh, patreon.com slash fam. And we just want to let you know, guys, that we love you. You guys are the reason why we do this, and we tell it to you we will be. Period. Again, those who actually saw the show now, not in the Patreon version, you can do a review now, and again, the winner will participate in Cyber Fantasy in a huge match we have in store for you. That's already a, a, a spoiler right there for Cyber Fantasy, a little leakage right there. There's a huge match going on, and you can participate in it by just simply doing a live reaction or a review. Up to you guys. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the show, and guaranteed, you are going to look forward to much more content. Six years of FAM, many more to come. Yeah. Peace out! Thank you guys, thank you guys, peace!